and we are on the clock. We are going to be off and running. Let me. <clears throat> All right, so obviously we have people from all over the United States on this call here. I'm excited about this training here. This is not something you're going to find anywhere else, even on a paid course. Nobody's getting on live and actually going to do this with you. So what I want to do here is wherever you're at in the United States, as we get the day going here, let's say you're in Nashville, the one thing that's great about the phones is you can get out really far, okay? Obviously, for this model to work, you're going to have to have a car, okay? You are going to have to go run appointments. You're going to be driving around, okay? So what we're doing here, not trying to close over the phone. So if you're, if you're here to learn how to close deals over the phone, that's not what I'm going to go over, okay? That is a model that uh, people that have experience doing it. Um, some people are getting some success with it, but when you want real numbers, we're trying to develop people to do 20, 30 deals a month. Okay. I've never personally signed 20 or 30 deals a month with that model. I have signed 40 deals a month doing appointments, setting appointments on the phone and going out there. And that's what we're going to focus on. I'm not going to teach you something that I haven't done um, so our goal here is not to close deals over the phone. It is to get appointments, and then we're going to go close them in person on the second half of the week. Before we get into that, when you're getting going on the phones, I want to cover the basics here. There are just basic things that you need to know about that you're going to see applied all day, um, however long that you're on these calls here. So the four factors of impulse. Um, if we just give people options for next month and you know this is a forever opportunity a forever deal then there's no incentive to jump right you've never seen a car commercial for the car lot for memorial day weekend running some special saying this special lasts all year right it's all about hey memorial day weekend come on down and get this special and you're going to get this rebate and 15 percent off apr value and get down here by sunday afternoon and take advantage right? It's impulse. It's a now. Make a decision now. Do something now, okay? And whether it's on the phone, send the appointment, or when you run the appointment, trying to get the deal, it's all about impulse, okay? So the four factors of impulse are F, fear of loss, I, indifference, G, greed, four, sense of urgency, okay? Fear of loss is like the example I gave. There's a time limit on it. I only have X amount of spots. My schedule is filling up. I have four spots left. Indifference, if you're not on one of those spots, I understand it's all good, it's your money, no big deal to me because I'll find four others. Greed, everyone's doing it. This is the Jones effect, you're not the only one. When we're running appointments, we, that's why we show other people's deals. Not the details, but we want them to see other voided checks. Other people are doing it. You're not the only one. Sense of urgency. I'm only out there this week. Next week, they're sending me out, you know, to, you know, just pick a city, whatever. So that's, that's the four factors of impulse. Five steps to a conversation. We're going to get really familiar with this today. Today, we are going to be writing our script. We are going to be testing and tweaking all day long here. And the way that you do a script it's based on the five steps to a conversation. Introduction, short story, presentation, close, and rehash. <clears throat> You're gonna see us write a script today. We're gonna play around with it, and it's all gonna revolve around this. The way that you write a script, I don't expect every one of you to write a script. We're actually gonna do that together today, okay? By the end of today, you will have a great script, and we'll show that it works throughout this week. But the way that you do a script, because they do evolve, they do change, maybe something I'm doing isn't working for you. So the way that you do a script is you need to get as far through one, two, three, four, five as possible on a consistent basis. For example, the intro, hey, what's going on, James? This is Joe Wagner, how are you? Boom, there's my intro, very simple. Two, short story. Hey, I'm giving you a call. They're going to be sending me out there to be going over the cash discount program uh, this Thursday. I just want to give you a call. Have you heard about that? Click, right? If everybody, if I make 50 calls 
and everybody is hanging up on me middle of the short story, you're going to get hangups. But if everyone's hanging up on me, then I know, hey, my intro works. They're not hanging up on me on my intro. They are hanging up on me midway through my short story. That's where I'll start tweaking it. Now, maybe that short story I just gave, I don't get hangups. Hey, what's going on? This is Joe Wagner. Good morning, James. This is Joe Wagner. I just given you a call. They're going to be sending me out there this Thursday. I wanted to give you a heads up. I'm going to be coming out, going over a program called the Cash Discount. Have you heard of that? If people are responding saying, no, I haven't. What are you talking about? Which is what I want, by the way. No, I haven't heard of that. What are you talking about? Oh, perfect. Boom. Now I'm in presentation. The cash discount program is a program that literally maxes out what you pay to process cards at 90. Okay. I know you get a lot of calls on this, but no matter how much you process, the maximum on this is $90. It's kind of complex. That's why they're sending me out. Okay. If that's working, then I've got a great script so far. Now, if they're hanging up on me in the middle of presentation, then I know my intro's good, my short story's good. Now I'm losing everybody at step three. That's where I need to tweak something. And then you go all the way down to close and rehash. And that's how you write a script. You just, you master each step along the way, find out what's working. Wherever you're losing people, you make an adjustment, but you don't change the stuff that was already working. That's the five steps to a conversation. <clears throat> Eight steps to success. This is something you're gonna see all week long here. It's really important. I'm trying to get through this so that we can be on the phones at nine. Everything on this list, we are going to apply this week. To be successful, you have to do the things that successful people do, and this is it right here. Having a good attitude, okay? There's nothing personal on these calls. We're going to have a good attitude from the beginning of the day to the end, no matter what happens on one call. The next one, we have a fresh start with a great attitude. Being on time, I appreciate everybody that's on the call right now on time. This is the nationwide training. There's not an exact, you have to be here, folks. We have people on the West Coast. All right? I don't expect, I'm not gonna you know, deduct brownie points for somebody not being up at five o'clock in the morning. They will jump on later. This webinar will be open for the next three days. But I appreciate those of you on the East Coast being on time. On time, on the phones as well. We will be on the phones here in the next six minutes because nine o'clock is on time and when you get started working this business. You got to be prepared. I'm going to show you all the stuff that we have ready to go. Working a full eight hours. We will be on the phone from nine o'clock till five or about 4.45 tonight. So I want to take 15 minutes and kind of go and chat like we are right now. But it takes a full eight hours. It takes playing the numbers game, treating this like a job so that you can build your foundation. Working your territory correctly. We're going to go over that. You're going to see that all day long. Maintain a good attitude. Like I said, this, this is nothing personal, okay? We are calling people on the phones. They are probably gonna get three to five calls a day today. We're gonna do the best to separate ourselves, not only with the content, but with our energy and with our attitude and with our enthusiasm, with our C factors, right? C factors, S-E-E -E is smile, enthusiasm, and excitement, okay? They might be getting five calls a day, but hopefully we can blow them out of the water with our C factors and separate ourselves from the competition. Number seven, know why you're here and what you're doing. All right, have goals, have daily goals, have weekly goals, have monthly goals, have yearly goals. For God's sake, have goals. Okay, I'm at the office right here. I've got goals laminate, laminated. I can bring them with me. Okay, they are laminated so that I can bring them wherever I go on my desk. I will be looking at them all day long. So daily goals, well, we'll go over that in a second here. Number eight, take control. When you see an opportunity, take control, jump on it. Go for the jugular. When you see it, get it, go for it, take control. All right, so our goals here for the day, if you're serious about learning how to do this business on the phone, I would invite you to treat this like a day of observation, okay? With door to door, I cannot go out with you and show you how I do it in person and do 50 reps with you. On the phones, we can, we are. That's what this is about, okay? So I would treat at minimum the first half of the day as a day of observation. You're gonna hear all sorts of different stuff. We're gonna get who knows what we're gonna get as we call people. 
and get your notepad and pen ready and start taking notes. At lunchtime, if you're comfortable and you're like, all right, I'm ready to get started here. Because folks, what I, what I encourage you, what I encourage your goal to be is you should be out running your own appointments this Thursday and Friday. I invite you to jump on the money train by lunch today and get started setting some appointments this week. This Thursday and Friday, we can be doing this together, okay? So give me till lunch, treat this like a day of observation, and at lunchtime, if you're ready, I wanna get you some leads. We'll get you a list of 500 leads. We'll take a break, uh, you know, 15, 30 minutes, find out where everyone's at, pull some leads, I'll email them out, and then you guys can get on the phone, start setting appointments, okay? Um, you can keep this running or close it, it's up to you. Obviously, it's up and running for a reason. I hope that you utilize it. All right, so the goals for the day. All right, when you're on the phone, you need to be making 150 calls. This is a numbers game, uh, uh, even on a higher level than door to door, okay? We're, our pitch, my pitch is intentionally going to be, I want them to be interested or hang up. I do not want to be on the phone for five minutes with somebody. I do not want to take 10 minutes to set an appointment. That's not the name of the game. I'm in, I'm out. Hang up on me or are you interested? Because I've got a lot of phone calls to make. And, and at the end of that, what we're looking for is 10 appointments a day. And today we're going to perfect our pitch, like I talked about. So, excuse me, 10 appointments a day is the goal. In a physical office, we used to have cowbells and big bells. And when you set 10 appointments, we were celebrating. We're ringing bells. 10 appointments is not easy. It takes a lot of calls and it takes practice. Okay, so if you don't get 10 in your first week uh, every day, don't be so hard on yourself, okay? It's all about reps. If you were watching that Grant Cardone video that we were just showing, that's what he was explaining, you know? You're gonna get better as you go. As you get more of these pitches out, you're gonna get better, okay? And then as you get more appointments, you're gonna run them. That's a whole nother numbers game. That's why we're looking for 10 appointments a day, which would be 30 that week. My tip of the day, have fun with it, guys. There's nothing personal going on here. We're going to be zippy. If people punch at me, I'm going to punch back, okay? I'm a chameleon. Whatever they give me, I'm going to give them back. I do my best to stay within the realm of complete professionalism, but sometimes, especially when momentum, uh, you know, an hour, and two hours could go by where I don't get an appointment. I'm going to have to do something to keep my maintain, maintain my good attitude and have fun. So... I'm not going to lose the professionalism, but trust me, I'm going to do what I need to do to maintain my fun level and maintain my C factors and my energy. And we are going to have fun with this. Google Maps, we're going to find an area. So at lunch, I want you to find an area. Let's say you're in Nashville. If you want 500 leads in Nashville, you're welcome to do that. If I live in Nashville, I'd be looking out here, you know, a town a little bit smaller, a little bit outside of Nashville, where right here, everyone's doing door to door and people without cars are working. Out here, you have a little bit less competition. They're still getting three to five calls a day, I promise, just a little bit farther out or out here or out here, however far you're willing to go. That's how I always do it. Let's close this. This is your weekly schedule. I want you to create something like this. You need to be tracking what your schedule looks like. As this is getting filled in, it's going to make you feel better. You're going to see your progress going. You're going to know what time slots you have. If all of these are filled out except for 10 in the morning and 1 o'clock, now when I call somebody legitimately, hey, my schedule's booked. I've got two times. Give me three minutes. What's best, 9.30 or 1? Okay? That's your Thursday. That's your Friday. Our goal is to fill this with 30 appointments. If you start at 8 in the morning, bravo to you. My goal will be to be setting appointments nine o'clock and after. If someone absolutely needs an appointment earlier, I will. Okay, but uh, whatever time, whatever times work for you, and you want to try to set them every thirty minutes. I don't. My goal is not to have an appointment at ten o'clock and my next one at one o'clock. Okay, that's a lot. A lot of time in between, and then you have an appointment sheet. I've got my appointment sheets printed out here, ready to go. Just basic information right there. Okay, so that's what you want 
as far as being prepared, this is being prepared. When we fill out an appointment, that's where we're gonna go. Here's a basic phone script, okay? Okay, we are going to adjust this. This is a basic phone script. If you can put something in the chat box, let me make sure everybody here knows. Can you scan, send the schedule PDF and script out to us? The script isn't the script yet, John, and the schedule, I'll, I'll figure that out. By the end of today, John, yes, I can do that at lunch if you're gonna get on the phones. Come on, guys, keep the chats going, please. Let's make sure everybody is, is here, knows what they're doing. As you have questions throughout the day, this is where you're gonna write them, right here. Is everybody excited about this? Is this something you guys are looking forward to? I don't wanna be taking breaks for tasks in the middle of the day. I'm gonna to try to minimize that as much as possible to make sure that we're getting in our uh, minimum 150 calls, which we're probably gonna make more than that. Okay, so, all right, there's the script. Let me change my share to full screen. There we go. All right, so I have a, a dialer right here that's gonna be good for um, the webinar. So you guys are getting my audio straight from the computer. I'm gonna put these together. Here's a spreadsheet, okay? This is 500 leads. This is the leads for the week, went too far. This is our leads for the entire week right here. We're gonna work this, we're gonna color coordinate it, things like this, right? So by the end of the day, we are gonna have this lead sheet by the end of this week, this lead sheet is gonna be extremely color coordinated and we're gonna track who we're calling. We're very prepared, professional. We know exactly what we're doing. So I've got business names. I know who the owner is and I've got an address, phone number. I get to the chat. All leads, boom, awesome, good morning. Jandy, Sam will chat with you about your question there. We'll need leads around Rochester, okay? So we'll get to the leads. I won't remember that, Deborah, but we'll get, we'll get some leads for you by lunchtime here. All right, folks, so you're gonna see there's no magic script. I gotta play the numbers game just like anybody else. Let's get on the phones here, nine o'clock. People are open, let's rock and roll, we are in business. Is he open and in business? An nope. All right, so folks, I leave that white. I didn't reach him, nothing happened. I'm not a voicemail guy. If you leave voicemails, you'll get zero calls back and waste about 30 minutes of your day. You're gonna kill your phone calls if you leave voicemails. You're welcome to do it. We weren't calling back credit card processors. This guy owns two stores. Thank you for calling A&L Lock and Safe. Next. Hey, Tino Granny, it's Lena speaking. Hey, Lena, good morning. Is uh, Raphael in? What was that? I'm sorry. Is, is Raphael in? Um, no, he doesn't work in this office. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Uh, maybe you can point me in the right direction. This, this is Joe Wagner. Um, I was basically calling to give a heads up. Easy Pay sending me out to Fort Pierce to explain this cash discount program to the business owners out there. I had Raphael as the, as the, basically the, uh, the owner. I don't know if he's the owner still. He just doesn't okay, work out a location. If I have his number, give me one second. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I have a number for him. Oh, awesome, uh, thanks. 941 
That I would assume that's his office number, right? What was that? I would assume that's just his office number. He just doesn't come into the actual business location anymore. Is that the deal? Um, no, he just works at a different office. It's called Innovative Film. Got it. Okay. It's in uh, Sarasota. Okay. All right. I will give him a call. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Give him a second number for Raf. All right, let's give this guy a call. And she said he's in Sarasota. Use that information. Shoot, what was her name? I'll get better at notes here. This is Flavia, how can I help you? Hey, good morning. Is uh, Raphael around? Uh, no, he's not here. Okay, Monday morning, he probably gets in a little bit later. He'll, he'll be in today, though? Um, sure, I'm not sure what time. Okay. Um, He's the boss. He rolls in whenever he wants, right? <laughs> what's that? He's the boss. He gets to roll in whenever he wants, right? Exactly. All right. May well, I ask who's calling? Uh, yeah, this is Joe Wagner. I was actually calling his, uh, his Sebring, Florida location. They told me to reach him here, so... I'll try back later. It's no, no big deal. I'll, I'll get them later. All righty. Thank Thanks. You. Have a great one. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. All right. All right. So I still haven't reached him. I'm keeping that one white. Folks, if I don't reach him, now you can do it however you want. You can come up with whatever color coordinated system you want. You add your notes, whatever you know works for you. If I don't reach them, I, I, I just leave it white. I have a note here. So obviously, I'll know that we called. Um, and then we'll keep going. And also keep in mind here when we're calling them, the, does this sound like a sales call right out of the gate? I mean, they're, they're going to find out pretty quick it is once I reach him. But this is how you get past gatekeepers on the phone. Okay, both of those people had no problem giving me information. She gave me a second number. I know it was just a store. But if I was calling like, oh, yeah, hi, this is Joe Wagner. I'm calling with Easy Pay Processing. Is, is Raphael around? Like, no. Okay, I'm calling like his friend, right? Talk to them like people, not salespeople. Come on, Nick. I want to get these marbles out of my mouth. It is it, Kurt? Yeah, good morning, Nick. Yes. Nick, hey, man, this is Joe Wagner. How are you? Cool, man. Hey, just wanted to run something by you here. Um, basically, I'm giving you a call here first thing Monday because Easy Pay is sending me out to Fort, P Fort Pierce on Thursday to go over this cash discount program. Um, I know you get a lot of calls about this kind of stuff, but have you actually heard about this cash discount program yet? Yeah, by like 100 people. <laughs> okay. Have you already implemented it? No, I'm just not right now. Gotcha. My customers are kind of spooky. If I scare them, then I'm going to lose my ass. Yeah, no. So, so Nick, before you hang up here, we actually have a way of doing it where you don't have to put the signage up and it doesn't have a 4% service fee on the receipt. So the main thing that scares people, away, obviously you want the savings. Everyone we talk to wants the savings, but not everybody is excited, obviously, to announce it and put signage up and say, hey, we're going to charge you if you use a card. We have a way of doing it that doesn't require that. Um, it basically when I come out I have like four pages that I go over for that program would you give me three minutes because I know no one's come out with that version of it you got three minutes on Thursday up. your phone's starting to break up can you hear me barely like you're breaking up bad ah shoot man how about now yeah hey man did, did you hear what I said there's a way of doing it where you don't have to put the signage and receipts Three, three minutes on Thursday, man. It'll be worth your time. If you don't do it, it's all good. But you'll know how you could do it down the road without scaring away all your customers. Obviously, you're, you're early in the morning. Will you give me three minutes at 9 on Thursday? It, it won't be a waste of your time. All right. I appreciate it, man. And just to verify, you're still at 1010 U.S. Highway 27 North. Yeah. Awesome. So you know the deal on this program. We don't need statements. I'm not going to ask you. I'm not there to do a proposal. I'll go over this information, show you how you can do it without the signage. If you like it, cool. If not, I really appreciate your time. And 
I will see you Thursday at 9 a.m. All right, Nick? All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. All right, so there we go. Not very many calls in. We know what to say. We have Cash Discount Program 2.0. Folks, I just proved to you nobody's doing Cash Discount 2.0. This is phenomenal, okay? I haven't been on the phone in years. He's getting calls, tons of calls about Cash Discount. He's not implementing it. I didn't even have to explain the program. He already knows what it is. We have a way of doing it that doesn't require the signage. He's in. He's all about that. That guy wants to save money, and I'm going to show him how to do it without scaring out his customers. We got a green. First owner we talked to. All right. So let's copy this over. Boom. There we go. And give me a phone number. How am I going to do this? Hold on. Maybe I can't do both. All right, so I'm 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 getting uh, I'm getting the ball rolling with all of you. <laughs> we'll figure out a good system by the end of this week. Does he take cards? I didn't ask him, but I could tell that he did. Knows about cash discount program. Interested in 2.0. Rock and roll. We are on the board, ladies and gentlemen. Next. Hey, uh, is my phone cutting out? He said he was losing me. That's, that's not good. Uh, my Wi-Fi is all the way full here. In the chat box, if somebody can just respond, can you guys hear me okay? Either way, I'm going to keep calling. There's no other choice, right? So, boom, boom. It's all good. I can hear you. Yes, you're good. Awesome. Yeah, what's going on? You said Ray? Yeah. Ray, you have the best energy of everyone that's answered the phone this morning. <laughs> what's what's going on, man? This this is Joe Wagner. How are you? Uh, you broke up, Dad. I didn't catch you. Who is it? This this is Joe Wagner. So I just want I just wanted to give you a heads up, man. So Easy Pay is sending me out to Fort Pierce. I'm going over this cash discount program. Uh, I don't know what that is, and I don't use it, so let's not even go anywhere. Are okay? Are you taking cards now? No, sir. Thanks. I said that we, we don't do that. I'm trying to be polite, okay? Yeah, I understand. I I'll, I'll I'll mark okay. you off here later. Thanks. Okay. Yep. All right. Bye. 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 cards or at least that's what I was getting out of that wow he's actually trying to be polite I think we've got a good little uh, good little pocket here <laughs> so everyone knows I'm calling Sebring Florida if you go and google that I'm not calling in the middle of a metro city here I'm found a small city in Florida yeah what's going on Aaron oh, he's, uh, hang on one second I'll get him. all right cool we, really, we need to adjust this as we go. Hello? Hey, Aaron, how are you? Okay. Awesome, man. This is Joe Wagner. Hey, real, real quick, man. I know you're busy on a Monday morning. Um, I just wanted to call to give you a heads up. Easy Pay sending me out to Fort Pierce. I'm going over this cash discount program. Um, have, have you heard oh, about oh, the oh, cash oh, discount I, yet? I can't. I can barely hear you. Can you hear me now? Uh, we got, yeah, go ahead. We got planes. I, I, I apologize, man. I don't know if it's my phone or the planes. They're sent, Easy Pay sending me out to Fort Pierce to go over the cash discount program. Uh, some people have heard of it. Some haven't. Have you heard of the cash discount program yet? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. All right. So what the cash discount program is, is it sets, your, sets you at a maximum of $90 to pay to accept cards. Literally 90 bucks is the most you could pay. I don't care how much you process. So you never pay more than 90 bucks. You need to call me back because I got a customer standing here. I got all kinds of stuff going on. So, so Aaron, it takes me three minutes. I explain it in person, not over the phone. Are you out there Thursday? Damn. Aaron, are you still there? I'll get an appointment out of that for sure. Okay. Phone back. Customer walk. I'll get that. 
Coming back for you, Aaron, for sure. All right, so yeah, we're gonna do that yellow. All right, let's call it Aaron here. I hope my phone is okay. Keep, people keep telling me the phone or they can't hear me. Now you guys will be calling, I would imagine from a cell phone. I'm hooked up to Wi-Fi. I tried to put myself back as far as possible. I'm loud on the phone. I didn't want to bother everybody. I hope my Wi-Fi is good here. Aaron Scorts Plus, can I help you? Yeah, good morning. It's uh, Aaron? This is Aaron. Aaron, what's going on? This is Joe Wagner. How are you? I'm all right. Cool, cool. Happy Monday morning. So just, just giving you a call. Just giving you a call here, man. Easy pay, sending me out to Fort Pierce uh, Thursday, Friday. What I'm doing is uh, coming in person to go over the cash discount program. Have you heard of this yet? Are you familiar with the cash discount program? No, sir. So what it is, I'll give you a quick rundown, and then if you want to, we can meet. Um, what it is is it sets you at a maximum of $90 to accept cards, right? So, you, like, you take cards right now, right? Be hung up. Hang up on me, Aaron. Come on, buddy. I'm not an auto dialer. I'll call back. Come on. Leave a message after the oh, come on, Aaron. I don't even need to put that. So because we have so many leads here, the guy hung up. I'm going to call one more time. I'm just going to see. I honestly feel like it might have been, I don't know, because everyone's telling me they can't hear me. I'm like, is my phone messed up? Sure, some of y'all are laughing at home, right? Guys, don't just have fun. It doesn't matter if they hang up. What's he gonna do? Say, I, I, I told you, I, I, I hung up on you. Like, okay, I'm just gonna call him. Say, hey man, I think our phone disconnected. Have fun. Get get back with these people. How many people call him back? You can set an appointment, call him back, just because they'll they'll know that you you have gusto. All right, but for now, after three calls, we'll call him Red. Absolutely cool. How may I help you? Hey, good morning. Uh, I was trying to reach Neil. Is he in yet? Who are you trying to reach, hon? Uh, Neil? Neil Chapel? Mm, no, sir. Neil's retired, hon. What could I do for you? He is? Okay. Um, well, I apologize about that. This is Joe Wagner. Um, I'm not sure if you're the one that I would talk with now, but I'm calling from Easy Pay because they're sending us out on Thursday and Friday. Um, to basically go over the cash discount program with the business owners out there. Are you the one that handles that kind of stuff now? or? Um, I am. And you're from Easy Pay, you said? And yeah, from, from Easy Pay. And what the cash discount is, because I know that's the next, is it's a program that sets you where you never pay more than $90 to accept uh, card payments. So literally, it doesn't uh, matter how much you process, you get a flat rate. You don't have percentages and all the crazy fees. It's a it's a flat rate, and they send us out because I've got some like basically some information. I go over it with whoever's interested in eliminating their bill. Um, obviously, okay. you don't have to do it, but are you out there Thursday where I could swing by for five to ten minutes and go over this with you? All right. Um, at this moment, we're we this company just started up as of today because Neil retired, um, and we're you know, trying to get everything transferred over. We're not interested in entertaining anything like that right now. Um, so, so, so you, I, I understand when you, you guys, today's the first day of new ownership, you're saying? The phone is breaking up quite a bit too, so I'm only kind of catching part of what you're saying. Huh? That, can you hear me now? I, I can hear you a little bit. We're still is, breaking up. It might be our line. Is today the first day of new ownership? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. 
So, 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 you know, so you guys are accepting cards, right? And Neil right now, you guys are paying different percentages, you know, up two and a half, three percent. It varies every month and it adds up to a lot of those profits. We're not pairing, we're not paying different uh, percentages. We're paying a, a flat percentage. But but every and month you pay a, every month you pay a different and amount I'm, though. I'm an, I'm not trying to be rude, hon, but I'm extremely busy and the phone's breaking up, so I can't really hear you well. If you wanna maybe try me in about a month to give me a call. Uh, that'd be great. What was Thank your you. What was your first name? Ah. All right, let's see if this is better here. All right, we still got everybody. Appreciate that. We cannot be making calls to people that can't hear us. Where were we? All right, Neil. New ownership. Yeah, that's that's because the phone. I I would have got I would have got her to set an appointment for sure. She couldn't hear me. It's all about killing rebuttals. And when I'm killing a rebuttal, I can't have them saying, I can't hear you killing the rebuttal. All right, so we're down to Joy, answering service. Yeah, good morning, uh, Joy. No. Okay, is Joy around? Uh, may I ask who's calling? Uh, yeah, this is Joe Wagner. Hold on, sir. Thank you. I could get your name and number and get a message to her, sir. She's not available at the time. Okay. And maybe you can help me. I'm not even sure if this is going to apply there, actually. Um, you know, we're calling from Easy Pay. They're sending us out to go over the cash discount program, but it's for businesses that accept cards. Are you guys, do you guys even take cards? No. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't think so. So save us both a couple minutes here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. No problem. Bye bye. Boom, the whole thing red. All right, come on, baby. Let's see if this barber shop is open. So as you all can see, you just gotta have fun. Just that energy, the C factors, calling like their friend. All that stuff works. Adam, barber shop. Yeah, what's going on? Is it Skip? Yes. Skip, what's going on? This is Joe Wagner. How are you? I'm good. Hey man, I'm not sure if this applies to you. Some some barbershops it does, some it doesn't. Um, basically, Easy Pay sending me out to chat with everybody on Thursday that runs a business. Um, are you guys taking cards out there? Or are you ATM only? Uh, no, uh, some of us use a square. Uh, some of us don't. Got it. Okay, so we do really well with barbershops. Have, have you heard about the cash discount program? I'll tell you in 30 seconds, and I'll let you go. Have Have you heard of this yet? No, I haven't. No. All right, so it's a way that you guys can take cards. Uh, without it costing you guys all the all the crazy fees to accept cards. I know you said some take square, so it's like 2.75, right. um, but you're yeah. still giving away some profits. Um, basically, right. like I said, they're sending me out on Thursday just to go over this program where it doesn't cost you guys an arm and a leg to take cards. Um, are you down there Thursday morning, like 10 o'clock, Skip? I can just kind of go over the info, be in no, and out. I'm not really interested. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. No, you guys want to keep paying the fees? All right. Hey, they're nice. They're not hanging up super early. This is a, it's a good spot. Here we go. All right, next. Advanced Air Systems. Good morning, Advanced Air Systems. Hey, good morning. Is Jeff in? Um, who's calling? Uh, this is Joe Wagner. Hold on one moment. Let me check on it, okay? Uh, all right, thank you. Uh-huh. So you can be assured that we'll get the job done right. Ask your advanced air systems specialist for more details today. Thank you for holding. I know I would have got one of those too. Hopefully my phone is better right now. Advanced air systems is pleased to offer. We will find out shortly. To meet your resident. Sir, he's not here. Can I go ahead and call you back? Um, yeah, let me give you my number. Like I said, it's Joe Wagner, and my number is 561-264-1722. Okay, 
And this is in reference to? Uh, this is in reference to the payment processing system for like the, the credit cards. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay. All right. I'll give you the message. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Uh huh. You too. Bye. Boom. You guys can see my full screen here, right? You guys can see, yeah, you can. Okay. So as you can see, there's a script. I'm kind of trying to go to it. Antique, Antique service, can I help you? Yeah, what's going on, is, is Bill in? Uh, this is the Antique service, can I help you? Okay, now I was trying to get directly to Bill Dixon. Um, is he in yet, do you know? Okay, he's out in the field, sir. Can I take a message? Um, well, yeah, this this is Joe Wagner. Um, I was hoping to catch up with him. Is there another way that I should reach him? Okay, I'll take a message and have him call you. Okay, perfect. So, Joe Wagner. It's five, and your number? 561-264-1722. Okay, and this call is in regards to what, sir? Uh, the, the payment processing system. And you're with what company? With Easy Pay. Easy Pay? Yep. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. I'll have you call you. I appreciate it. Thanks. So if you're watching that Grant Cardone video when we start, it's like never hang that phone up. Just next, next, next. Hello. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Hey, it's Joe Wagner. Not available at the moment, so please leave your name. All right, let's get some more owners. I do not know how to pronounce that name. Boom, boom. Is that a man's name? Next. Let's see who we got on the call here. So I know we got some people. Deborah Compton. Deborah, how many calls a day do you make in the chat box? Good morning. It's Entra Carpet. Good morning. Is Philip in yet? I'm sorry. He's left already on a job. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, Can I take a message? Uh, yeah, this is Joe Wagner, and you might be able to help me. I don't know if he has an office manager such as yourself that helps with this because he's always out, but um, I'm calling from EasyPay because they're sending me out to Fort Pierce to go over this new cash discount program. Um, I don't know if you help him out with the payment processing stuff. No. No, no you really have to talk. Him. That would be okay. okay. But basically, they got me coming out on Thursday. I'm trying to figure out a good time to to you know get him for five minutes. Is there another way that I can reach him and I can set up a time with them? 
um, I, I just have to have him return your call. That's all I can do. Okay. So it's it's Joe Wagner. Yes. And five six one. Two six four. One seven two two. Okay. Five six one two six four one seven two two. And it's something to do with easy pay. Yes, we have a program that gets rid of his fees that he's paying, and I need to go over it with him. So if he can call me back, I'll try to set up a time so I can come and explain it. Okay. Thank you much. Have All a right. great one. All right. Bye now. Bye-bye. All right, let me get to your box here, chat. <laughs> Seventy-five, two hundred calls. Good morning, Joe. Wouldn't it be cool? It's nine forty on the East Coast. Everyone should be working. Come on, Tom. All right, so Manny, you got a question on here. It says, good morning, Joe. Wouldn't it be cool when leaving a message and you said something like, hey, this is Joe Wagner with EasyPay, $90 flat monthly processing fee, and it says yes or no. Uh, Manny, I, I encourage you to leave uh, messages if you want to. I found that they just take up a lot of time, and people typically aren't calling back, but I can't say that I've tried that with cash discount where you're announcing what the price would be. So Manny, if you want to, when you're on the phones, go ahead and try that. Personally, I think that uh, I, I don't have a good success rate. I never had a good success rate with people calling back knowing it was about credit card processing. And I'd rather the amount of time, if you're going to leave, you know, 40 voicemails in a day, that adds up to a lot of time. And time is phone calls and phone calls is appointments and appointments is money. So personally, I just leave it white. I'll call back. But I'm not saying not to. I mean, do whatever you want to do. But that, that's personally why I don't. I, I think it just eats up a lot of time that I could be making the next call. And the way that I get, for me, the way that I get appointments, I need to be talking to somebody. Like these up here, for whoever, whoever was on the call, I would have got, got one of those. That new ownership had the phone up and cut now. I had no with full confidence that was an appointment. Good morning, I trust services. Hey, good morning. Is this Rosa? No, this is Sandra. Rosa uh, is deceased. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You said Sandra? Uh, this is Sandra. Okay, so maybe you can help me out here. I'm not sure if this applies, but I'll save us both some time. Um, they're, they're sending me out from EasyPay. I'm going over the cash discount program, which has to do with payment processing. Are you guys even mm -hmm. taking cards out there, like accepting cards as payment? Uh, no, at the moment we don't. Yeah, we don't no. We accept checks. Okay, gotcha. Who who pays you? The the people that you're you're finding people to do the the work and then hire them out. Um. Yes, I actually I can give I can um, take a message and have Lisa call you. Um. She would be the one that would be able to answer all those questions for you. Okay. Or if you could shoot us the email of what of what you're offering, that'd be great. That'd be even better. What's your email address? It's aglabor three four four at gmail dot com. Awesome. Thank you, Sandra. I'll send something okay, over to thank Lisa. thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye-bye. I'm just going to put that one. Let's do a weird color. Something that needs to be done. So if you wanted to, personally, am I going to sit and write a bunch of emails? Personally, no. Um, but I'm not planning on doing this for the next two, three years. Been there, done that, okay? I want to show you what it takes to do it. And you come Thank up. Thank you for calling. Your call may be recorded. You come up with your systems insurance. like Manny, if you want to leave voicemails, if you want to send emails, play around with it. Uh, hey, I was trying to reach Alan. Alan J. Weltstein? Yeah, Weltstein. 
Yeah, I can connect you to his assistant. One moment. Thank you. Executive office, may I help you? Yeah, I was trying to reach uh, Jay or Alan Jay. And they said this this is his assistant. It is. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if this applies because the automotive networks. So I don't know if it's a shop or not. Is is this like an auto shop or a whole network of shops? This is a franchise. Got it. Taylor. Okay. All right. So I've got something that he'll probably want to know about. Maybe you can point me in the right direction. So I'm I'm calling. They're sending me out on Thursday. I'm going over what's called the cash discount program. Um, have you heard of that yet? Or I don't know if you're the one that helps them with this stuff. The cash discount program for what area? To, yeah, so the, it, the shop? Yeah, sorry. Yes, for, for, for the shops or shop or however many you have. But the cash discount program sets you at a maximum of $90 a month to accept cards. So, so literally, you never pay more than $90, no matter how much you accept in credit cards. I guess it's a, it, okay. it's a serious game changer for small businesses. And, you know, some people are already on it and we're finding the ones that haven't yet jumped on or don't know about it. They come out. I've got some information that I go over and make sure that everybody's up to speed at, at least on what the availability is. You can email me the information and I'll forward it on. Alan would not handle that. Okay. Is that something that you, but. you help out with? Pardon me? Are, are you the one that does that kind of stuff and, and looks over it no, for? I said I'd, hit, I'd forward it on. Okay. Is it? No, is I, it, I don't get involved in that either. Yeah, it, just because it's kind of kind of complex. I go over about five, six pages, and like the law was passed in the whole nine yards. Is there anyone down there that I'd be able to sit with for three to five minutes? I, I understand everyone's time is yeah. valuable. It, like it, it'll put a lot of profits back in their pocket if, if it's something they were to do. If you want to give me your name and number, I can let them know. And that that'd be that'd be perfect. I just don't have an email template that's okay. going to really break it down the way that I can present it, um, so that you understand. So my name again is Joe Wagner, and my number is five six one two six four one seven two two. And what is the name of your company? It's Easy Pay Processing. So I'm not their current provider. Easy pay, yeah, the letter's easy. Okay. So I'm, I'm not their processor. I know they get a lot of calls, but seriously, this program, we put you at a flat monthly fee. It never changes. I could tell them next year how much they're going to pay because there's no rates and percentages and all that stuff goes away. So if they call me back, I'd love to get them on my schedule. I'll be out there Thursday okay. and Friday. Thank you. I will let them know. Thank Appreciate you. it. You got it. Bye-bye. And I've got someone calling it forwarded to myself. I'll put it on speaker. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Good morning. This is Joe. Hey, Joe. It's Bill with Advanced Copier Systems. Bill, how are you? Doing good. I appreciate you calling back. I know you're out in the field. Um, did she give you a quick rundown why I was trying to reach you, Bill? No. No, they just gave me a name and a phone number. Gotcha. So I'll, I'll get, I'll get to the point. I know you get a lot of calls. I appreciate you calling back. So, um, my name is Joe Wagner. So easy pay is sending me out to Fort Pierce on Thursday to go over this new cash discount program. I know a lot of people have heard of it. Some haven't. Um, does that ring a bell? Have you gone over the cash discount program yet? Buddy, I don't even know what you're talking about. I, I own a uh, sell and service copy machines in Sebring, Florida. Right. Right now, they're, they're sending me out to Sebring. So that, do you guys take cards? Let me put it that way. Because this program puts you at a flat $90 max. Like, literally, it doesn't matter how much you process in cards. We put you at a flat monthly fee. Credit card system? Yeah. No, buddy, I don't take credit cards. I don't use credit cards. I don't. I don't want to. I've tried it before and it doesn't work out for me. So with our program, we can set it up where you're not the one that pays the fees. So I don't I know I've done this a long time and I know that people have been burnt. You got people getting leases and contracts. So we have a program that's month to month. You don't have to buy equipment and then you're not the one that pays the fee. Would would you take cards if it didn't cost you percentages and chunks of money out of each transaction? Because that's what the cash discount program does. 
Yeah, probably not, man. I, I've been in business 25 years, and it's working out so far. So I got gotcha. you. I'm, I'm as a business owner, man. I just, I know people would use cards and cause checks. So you take checks, right? I doubt you're not, you're not getting a lot of cash. You're getting all checks, right? Pretty much. Checks yeah. are cause there's no fees. Obviously it makes sense to take checks, but if you taking cards was the exact same amount of profit as those checks and it didn't cost you money, it literally all, all it would be is another option for your customers. And I'm telling you, man, you don't get all these fluctuating bills. It, it's so hard. That doesn't cost me any money. How how are you making money? I mean, that that that's that's what I that's what I come out to explain. the bo The bottom line is is that if they were to pay by card, it's just like a gas station where they have a cash price and a credit price. It's the same concept, right. just to keep this phone call with you know short of fifteen minutes. That's why I come in person. So in ten minutes. I actually break it down. I've got a little presentation. If you don't do it, whatever, man, you're in the same position you are now. But if you did do it, it would allow your customers to just have another option. Because I'm a, I'm a business owner. I want my miles on my card. And I don't carry checks. So I, I understand that it works for you. But it wouldn't hurt for them to have the option either if it didn't cost you money. And it'll save you a trip to the bank. So give me three minutes, man. I, I won't waste your time. If you're not into it, I'm out if you are then at least you know about it. Um, well, yeah, when you put it that way, but... That, that's, that, that's, what it, that's what it is, man. If it's not that, you give me the boot and I'm out of there. What's better for you, like 9.30 in the morning or like lunchtime, 11.30 or 12? Or what, what range works? Now, where are you coming from? Uh, I'm coming from Boca Raton, but I'll, I'll be up there. My first appointment's already set at 9 o'clock, so I'll, I'll be up there all day, man. When? What day? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Ah, <clears throat> come by Thursday morning. Nine nine thirty or ten. Nine thirty. Nine thirty. It is. Again, my name is Joe Wagner. I appreciate you calling back, Bill. I won't waste your time, man. I'll go through the presentation quickly. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, no harm, no foul. Thanks for calling back. Right. Thursday, 10 in the morning. Thursday at 10 o'clock. And then just to confirm, you're still at 510 North Pine Street. Correct. We'll see you there. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Bada boom, baby. We're in business. 10 o'clock. We got Bill. Bill Dixon. 510 North. Pine Street, and he is 863. Could you guys hear? I'm sure you guys could somewhat hear that. 4710433. Does he process cards? No. Text only right now. So let's get customers another option. All right. We are good to go. Let me check the chat box here. I'm trying to do all these different things here. All right, Deborah, I asked you how many calls you're making. You said 75 to 100. And I know you take a little more time on your calls, Deborah. Your style is a little different. Also, approximately 50 surveys. Deborah, what are those surveys about? What, what, what kind of stuff are you asking, just, just out of curiosity? Um, things like, hey, are you happy with your fees? <laughs> I'll wait for you to answer. Excuse me, Manny, okay, great. I meant to the person answering the phone, by the way. I've never been good at making calls. I'm here to learn from you. You're doing a great job. Thanks, man. This, this is like riding a bike, folks. This is just, I can't tell you how many thousands and thousands of reps. And uh, obviously just, it's all about reps, folks. There's, there's no shortcut around it. You know, whether you see me out doing door to door, or you, you hear me on the phone like this. I haven't been on the phone in years, but it, it's, just, it's, it's just reps. And uh, more, than, more than knowing all the answers and more than, you know, the numbers game is really, really important. But to talk to, to you, Manny, on here, like doing a great job, it, it's the energy, right? It's that seat factors, I'm telling you. They're getting a lot of calls every day. A lot of appointment setters are getting a check on Friday. They're not getting residuals. They're not building a business. 
they're just calling like, hey, I'm calling because I'm supposed to set appointments. Are you going to be around? Uh, blah, 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 right? But when you're an entrepreneur, like this is putting food on my family's table. This is going to put food on your family's table. I got to show you how to do it right. And like I said at the beginning, it's the C factors. It's the enthusiasm. It's delivering it a little different. And most importantly, not calling like a salesperson, just talking to them, right? If you had something that helped people, if you had a cure for cancer and you had a list of cancer patients, you would talk to them like a person, like you had something that you could help them out. And it's the same thing. So it's all about just not being sales. And I appreciate the compliment, Manny. Cool energy. Awesome. I've never been on live calls. This doesn't exist, Manny. That's why we want to get it out there. We want to help you build your business. I appreciate you being here. Uh, Deborah Compton. Call. Wind up getting all input needed on biz plus set up a call back to program. Yeah, so you're doing a little different, Deborah. And I know you're not, Deborah, I don't think you're going out in person, right? I'm in here as I'm somewhat chatting with you guys. Um. All right, so we're at two appointments at 10 o'clock. That's two appointments in our first hour. Let's get three in the first hour which is good. All about science. Please leave your name. All right, Bob. <laughs> uh, you see, you can hear the C factors, Bob there. <laughs> oh. Hello. If you're trying to reach Albright Professional Cleaning Services, please dial 863-382-0042. Thank you and have a great day. At the tone, please record your message. When you... Hello. If you're trying to reach Albright Professional Cleaning Services, please dial 863-382-0042. Thank you and have a great day. Look how easy it is to gather information. Okay, so that easy. All right, let's do that one. Copy, paste. Now, at the end of the day, folks, we're going to look at our call log. It's a, it is critical that you have a way to track your calls. You have, to, you have to hold yourself accountable. You have to be playing the numbers game or it's not going to work. I want another one. I want three in the first hour. That'd be good. All right. So in the chat box, who here has, who here has phone experience? Who's already? Well, well, Katrina, how can I help you? Hey, good morning, Katrina. Is uh, Brian around? Anybody by the name of Brian? Brian Shelton? He's not, not the owner down there anymore? Uh, nope. Is this All Star Wireless? Uh, nope. It's El Primo Wireless. Got Okay, so it's sold. All right, well, maybe you can point me in the right direction. This is Joe Wagner. Um, I'm calling because Easy Pay is sending me out to chat with all the business owners at Fort Pierce. Um, basically, going over this new cash discount program. Are you the new Queen Bee around there? Or I, I got to obviously get Brian out of here. Um, if you can call back in like an hour, he's in a meeting right now. All right. Who should I be chatting with then? Uh, his name is going to be Safarino. How do I spell it? Safarino? Uh, Safa, S-E-F-E-R-I-N-O. Safarino. And what's the new name? I'm just updating it in my system here. The new name of the business? Uh, El Primo Wireless. 
El Primo Wireless. Awesome. I will give him a call back. Can I give you my number just in case? Yeah, what's the number? Uh, 561-264-1722. It's, it's pretty important. So when he gets out, I know he's a busy guy going over important stuff. This is pretty important if he can give you me a call. This, this is ePay? Easy pay. Easy pay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll let him know. It's, it's important, so I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. 9.59. Come on. If we get an appointment here, it counts on this hour. Come on. It's ringing before the hour. I'm on three. Come on, Mark. Alligator pack and chip. Yeah, hey, good morning. It's uh, Mark? Yes. Mark, what's happening, man? This is Joe Wagner. How are you? I'm well. And yourself? I'm doing good, man. We're getting our week rolling here. I'm sure you're doing the same. Yep. Cool, cool, man. I'll, I'll be quick and brief, man. This is, uh, like I said, Joe. Um, basically, I'm being sent out there by Easy Pay to Fort Pierce. Um, general area. I know you're in Sebring, so they've got us reaching that whole general area, and we're going over the cash discount program. Um, I'm assuming this applies to so you guys are taking cards, right? Correct. Okay. So have you heard of the cash discount program so I can get to the point and let you go here? Uh, yes. Okay. Have you guys implemented it yet? So, so ca cash discount program, just so we're not like playing the guessing game. Um, a lot of people are starting to do it where instead of you guys paying all the fees to accept cards, you, you get put at a flat rate every month. Like with us, for example, the maximum, depending on what you process, but the maximum, no matter how much somebody processes, you pay is $90. Like no BS, no annual fees, no percentages and transactions, statement fees, all that stuff goes away. I could tell you exactly what you would pay next year to accept cards. But most people are still, you know, paying all the fees and every month you pay a different amount. So does that ring a bell? It, does, it doesn't sound like you've implemented it at, at minimum. Well, to be honest, I, I'm, I have my credit card company and we are all dialed in and, and it can stay just how it is. But I do appreciate it. I, I appreciate your time, Mark. It, literally, if I could put you at a flat, flat fee. Would you give me no, three it, minutes? On, honestly, dude, it, it, it's a whole different other setup. It's just not about the flat fee. I have so much different business going on with them as well. So there's just, I'm just not changing. Well, and you, you have a point of sale on a system because this is a pack and ship. I've, I've done a couple where you, you've got a point of sale and it's all integrated and, and all of that, correct? Right? Correct. Have you seen if anybody else out there can use your point of sale where you get to keep your system or is it all locked up and proprietary or have you even tried? Well, again, without getting into it, it's just I'm I'm happy with what I have, and like I said, we are way locked into that system. So cool, man. Well, I'm glad that you're happy. Time. Not not everyone's happy with their processors, so it's good to hear, man. Thanks, Mark. You bet. Later, man. Bye bye. Bye. And not everyone. I mean, I'll push on some people if they're just you know. Not gonna, not gonna go overboard. All right, got something in the chat. So the cold call wind up. Talking fool here. <laughs> uh, all state insurance. We're not, we're not gonna do uh, insurance. I'm just gonna get that off my list. Related products. I was sitting there saying Fort Pierce. So when, I, when I wrote that originally, I was looking at Fort Pierce. People I'm calling are probably like, this guy he doesn't even know where he's calling. Again, once you have a script, just just ballparking off the script here. You can. Some of them related product. Hey, good morning, it's Blake. Yes, it is. Blake, good morning, man. This is Joe Wagner. How are you? Doing good. We're getting the week rocking and rolling, huh? Yes, sir. Cool, cool. Hey, man, I'll be quick. Like I said, this is Joe Wagner. Um, basically, Easy Pay sending me out to Sebring. I'm going over the cash discount program. Uh, Thursday, Friday. Um, is this something that you guys have heard of yet? I know it's kind of 50-50. Some have, some haven't. Um, I not, don't know what you're talking about, to be honest with you. Okay, so I'll, I'll get to the point here. So what the cash discount program is, is it sets you at a maximum of $90 to accept card payments. So lit literally, man, you never pay more than 90 bucks. 
So for businesses, some some have already implemented it, and it's a serious game changer because it gets rid of the fees. So I, are you available Thursday? I basically come out, I go over it in five minutes and show you how no matter what you process, you know what you're going to pay and get rid of all the other junk. Yeah, well, I appreciate the call, but I wouldn't be interested, but thank you. Are, are you not taking cards? Bada boom. That's amazing. They're, they're staying... They're staying on the phone the whole time. So, folks, if I was calling Miami, forget about it. I, I'm not saying forget about it, you can't succeed. I'm saying they'd be hanging up much, much quicker. Every, everyone out here staying on the phone. It's, it's Thank actually you for calling pretty impressive. American Institute of Dermatology. If this is a medical emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Para Espanol, oprima el numero uno. If you know your party's extension, press 9 at any time. To make an appointment or to reach the front desk, press 0. For directions, press... This could be a huge account. This could be in a hospital. Thank you for calling Dr. Rotman's office. Hey, good morning. Um, Good morning. I'm, I'm not sure if an office manager is there that would help out with this or if it's Dr. Rotman himself, but um, this, this is Joe Wagner. Um, I'm just giving you a call from EasyPay because they're sending us out and we're going over a program called the Cash Discount Program. And I'm not sure. I can sure. transfer you to the voicemail, sir. Is, is, there, an office, right is there an office manager yeah, or does the doctor actually handle right. it? No, you'll, you, you won't talk to the doctor about it. You'll talk to the office manager, and I can transfer you to the voicemail. Perfect. What's his name, just so I know? Give me one moment, sir. Okay. For some reason, my gut's telling me to leave a message, so I'm going to. This is a good account. At the tone, please record your message ah, to 863-304-7161. Yeah, hey, good morning. This is Joe Wagner. Um, I was originally calling for Dr. Rotman, and they um, get, got me over to the office manager. Um, so if you can give me a call back, again, Joe Wagner. My number is 561-264-1722. I appreciate the call back. It is Monday. 10 o'clock. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, so folks, when you're calling a doctor or a veterinarian or a dentist or anything like that, you're not, it's very rare that you're going to get the doctor and the doctors typically are not running this stuff. Like it'd be a really small practice, very small business style. Uh, most doctor offices have an office manager. So that is the one time, like that is the one industry, right? The medical industry or some, something that falls into that category where you're going to intentionally ask for someone other than the owner because typically it's the office manager. So I've done a lot of doctors and you run the appointments with the office manager. That's who you're going to present it to. That's who you're going to sell. And li I've literally sat and done all the paperwork without meeting the doctor and then walk the paperwork back, come back with signatures from the doctor because that is the office manager's duty and responsibility for most, okay, for most. So if you see me calling a doctor on here, you're gonna see me intentionally going for the office manager respecting that doctor's time. I'm gonna check this chat box here. I'm gonna take a five minute rest, uh, restroom break. Why red? Those are dead deals, man. Those are dead, Manny, I'm not calling those again. Okay, I have the whole United States to work. I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of towns around me, and I've got 500 leads right here. Okay, I've got 500 leads. By the end of the week, I'm going to get to the end of it, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm just going to call my whites again. Okay, I don't need to babysit leads. You have an unlimited amount of leads. You'll get 500 a week if you let us know where, where you're at. We'll look at a map. We'll strategize with you. 500 is more than enough, and you don't need to babysit each one. So that's, that's why. All right, folks, we're back at it. Let's rock and roll. All right, so we got two in that first hour. Not, not bad at all. Some, some can go by. 
you, you could go an hour, you could go an hour and a half, not get anything, and then an hour comes, or you boom, 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 knock them down. Well, let's see where we're at right here. I wish I could zoom out on this. So, all right, so we got our first two bits. We're on the board. We are in the game. So I do not like these blank spaces. If you notice, I'm trying to uh, fill my Thursday first. So if somebody's just flat out, hey, Friday is what I need, I'm telling them Thursday and Friday. So another tip I have for you, give them the day, give them the time, right? Ask them, is 9.30 better or is lunchtime better, like 11.30? Like give them specific time slots. And then as this thing books up, which by the end of the day, we're going to have more, we're legitimately going to be like, all right, these are the times that I have available, okay? And then we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, I'm okay. I'll, I'll double book. I'd, I'd rather have far too many appointments than not enough. So just get everything that you can. And where are we at? So we're at 26. So we've probably made about 26 calls in the first hour. So we're doing, doing all right here. All right, Robert, let's go. Outback Holding. Not sure what that is. Um, thanks for plugging in in the chat box. So who do we still have on here? I'm sure some other people took breaks. Anything in the chat box? Who here is ready to start just making some calls, get, keep this playing in the background? Um, start giving me some places, and I'm going to have Kevin or Sam start pulling some stuff. So in the chat box, give us an idea where you are. And if you're willing to drive, you know, a half hour to an hour out and uh, around lunch, I'm going to start opening up the lines. We can look at a map. And if you're not sure what area you're thinking, we'll get on around lunchtime and we'll start talking about that. So, all right, I'm going to keep dialing here. Let's roll. Uh, 0786. That's not the number I have in there. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Let's get some more, baby. Hello, hello. Hello, American Outback. <laughs> hey, is, uh, is Robert in? Nope. Can I help you? Uh, possibly. Um, for starters, I'm not even sure if this applies, actually. This is Joe Wagner. I'm calling with Easy Pay. Um, they got me coming out to Sebring on Thursday, Friday. I'm going over to the cash discount program. But are you guys even taking cards down there? Like, do you take pay credit card payments? No. Okay. That's why I wanted to ask before I go through my spiel and waste your time. Um, okay, thank you so much. You've got it. Bye -bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye. So, MD. Thank you for calling Harlem Pediatrics of Sebring. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Gracias por llamar Harlem Pediatrics this evening. Para español, marque el número cero. If you know your party's extension, you can dial it at any time. To schedule an appointment, press 1. To reach a nurse, press... To schedule an appointment. All right, that's not going through, not going to worry. I'll try back another time if we have time next week. And by the way, I know some people are jumping jumping on. If you're waking up on the West Coast, some people are jumping on, some on the East Coast, kind of, you know, coming and going. This webinar is going to be going all the way till tonight. If you're serious about doing this, I, I encourage you to just keep it open. Like, we, like I've said a couple times, around lunchtime, give me three hours, just kind of do a day of observation here. And if you're ready around lunch, let's get you on the phone, working on your own schedule here. Start with your Thursday. I'd like to have you guys out there this week running appointments. Wednesday evening, okay, 4.45 every day, including today, 4.45, even if you do take off or you log off, I would invite you to come back around 4.45. I want to give just a little bit of homework, a little bit of small things to do to start preparing yourself where if you are going to be out there in the field on Thursday and Friday, I'm going to give you a little homework every night. So by the time we get to Wednesday night, we're prepared. Okay, you got to get, to, you got to get this prepared. 
I'm not going to just unload on everybody on the first day. Um, I want to Wednesday night see people with their own schedule go in here. And then we're going to have a separate side uh, training on how to run the appointment, the marketing material that you're going to run it with, the whole nine yards. So just want to encourage everybody to stay on here as much as you feel that you can. And if you're ready to get on the phone, just keep communicating with us. We want to get you some leads so you can start getting your appointments. And if you're on the West Coast just coming on, welcome to the call. We appreciate you being here. We're at two appointments so far on the day, and we are just dialing away, doing the, doing the do. This is it right here. There's nothing special, nothing magical. You just got to call the good attitude and talk to them like you know them. Let's go. My script up. Anthony's glass etchings. Hey, good morning, Anthony. Yes. Hey, Anthony, what's going on? This is Joe Wagner. How are you? I'm doing all right, unless you are trying to loan me some money or give me some money or be my friend like that. <laughs> I, I've got enough friends, man. I'm sure you do too. I'm calling not to loan you money. I'm calling actually to go over this cash discount program. Um, I'm I have like 30 appointments Thursday and Friday up in Sebring I'm filling. Um, have you heard of that? I'll get to the point and I'll let you go. I know you get a thousand calls. Have you gone over the cash discount program or know what that is yet? Yeah, but I'm definitely not interested. I, I'm not going to waste your time or mine anymore. Thank you. What, what, what part of it are you not interested in though? But a boom and easily we could call these people back and maybe we can do something but i'm just i'm just not going to get into the into that mode years ago i'd call people back like you could you could chat with somebody like him and you know nine out of ten of them are gonna be like hey do not hear me and one out of ten you could actually talk with and say hey what what are you not interested in but for now we're just going to just blast through here by the end of this week this list is going to be colored all over the place you have reached the voicemail box. Oh, I wanted to get her. She's a marketing company. I was going to blast her with some energy. She's into marketing. She's probably into that stuff. Good morning. This is Joe. Hey, Joe. How are you doing today? Um, do I see you, do you call the booth mall store asking for Brian? Yeah. Well, what was the name of the shop? Uh, El Primo Wireless. Oh, El Primo Wireless. What's going on? Not much, buddy. Se Seferino? Yeah. Awesome, man. I appreciate you calling back. How's your Monday morning going, man? Uh, it just started, man. Yeah, me too, man. Let me get to the point here because I know you're a busy guy and I'm, I'm the same. So I was giving you a call. Um, basically, Easy Pay sending me out to Sebring to, to go over this new cash discount program. Just uh -huh. just so I know if you've even heard of it. It's kind of 50-50. Have you heard of that yet or, or no? Uh, no, I've not heard of it yet. Um, so here, for easy pay? yeah, easy pay. So, so here's the scoop, man. In 30 seconds, we'll be off the phone. The cash discount program sets you at $90 every month to accept cards or less, right? The maximum you could possibly pay on this program is $90, no matter how much you accept in credit cards. Like it, it's a serious game changer, man. Small businesses out there in Sebring. Many are already on it, and you know, like I said, 50-50, haven't even heard of it yet. So what, what this does here is it gets rid of all the different rates you guys are paying to accept cards. And rather than me taking 15 minutes to explain it now, I come out in person, my schedule's booking up already on Thursday, and I'm looking to just sit with you for three to five minutes. I've got some um, literature I'm gonna go over with you, literally five to 10 minutes, and when I leave, Either you pay, keep paying your fees or you're not going to pay fees by jumping on this program. So can I get you for five, 10 minutes, like 9.30 on Thursday, maybe 11? 9.30? Um, it doesn't have to be 9.30. I can go a little later, like 11 or 1 o'clock. I mean, you tell um, me when honest, you can. I'm not going to be around this way. I don't know where you're going to be at. Well, I'm, I'm down in Boca Raton, so I'm going to be up there Thursday and Friday. So, Thursday and Friday. Are, are you saying you won't be in the store? Is, this, is Thursday your day no, off? I, or? Won't be, I won't be in the store. I'm going to be all the way across the coast, all the way to Vero Beach. Over in Vero Beach? Yes. 
Okay, yeah, no, I, I won't be over there. I'll be up in Sebring. That's a little bit of waste. Yeah. Are you going to be gone on Thursday and Friday, or can I catch you hey, even honestly, earlier? Honestly, honestly, I really don't even come down this way as much. Uh, I only came today because it's been a minute. But uh, my schedule is all uh, next week and so, the past two weeks. So how, how, many, how many stores do you have? Uh, right now we have uh, nine. Nine stores. Okay, so yes. let's just let's just let's let's go over this over the phone instead of me trying to rush you uh, into an appointment. So you have nine stores. All of them you take credit cards at. How much are you paying at each store? On a, on average, you're paying like a hundred dollars, or you paying like four or five hundred dollars per store to accept credit cards. I'll have to go back and look at the, the numbers, man. Honestly, um, so check. Really Check, check this out. He's the one that does all that. Um, check this out, man. So the, the maximum we charge is $90. If $90. You, if, that's the maximum. If you have nine stores. Okay, but let me tell you about this. Uh, does it, if, if, like, example, if I was to, wanted to do this, uh, do we have to change all the, mer the credit card machines I use? We give them all to you for free, and it's month to month, no contract. And what, what kind of credit card machines y'all use right now? Uh, we're sending a Pax S80. Oh, okay. I mean, it's the same so, stuff. I mean, they're all, I mean, what do you have now? Do you have like, are you just using a terminal or do you have some big fancy system? I have a Clover. You have a Clover. Okay. Do you, are you using a Clover in each one of your locations? Yes. Okay. So when somebody has a Clover, let's pretend I walk in your store and I owe you a hundred bucks, right? You're going to go ring up that cell in your Clover and you're going to get to the screen where it asks you how I'm going to pay you, right? You have a credit debit button, a cash button, gift card. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so when you get on that screen, cause what I'm getting at, I can't reprogram Clovers. They're locked. They, nobody can reprogram what you have. So what we do in that scenario is you keep using the Clover, but when you get to that screen, the payment screen, there's an other button. Uh -huh. You literally just click other and then run the actual credit card through my terminal on the side. We do this with a, we do this with a ton of Clovers where you still get the Clover, you get all the features of it, but we get rid of the bill associated with it. And what I was going to tell you is if you're doing nine stores, plus you would still have the Clovers uh -huh. and stuff, we, would, and we wouldn't even worry about the $90, man. We would just put it at 50 bucks. So I can tell you right now, without even looking at a statement or, or how much you process, you would pay $450 a month for all nine of your stores. No, no bullshit, man. No extra fees, no annual fees, no statement minimums. All that stuff is gone, man. You would pay $50 okay, times nine. How much you said? Just a random number? A month? Not a random number. It's a very specific number. $50 per location. So nine locations at $50, you're talking $450. I bet you right now, I'm sure you have one store that you pay more than $450, let alone all uh, nine. Yeah, I think I do. I, I checked the credit last. So let, let me just take a little quick. Let me just take a little quick peek. I think I, because I keep all the base names because I have yeah. to check all the credit. Nor, nor, normally, I don't quite get into this detail, but because you're, you know, in Vero and I'm not going to be in Vero. But as you do the math over there, which it sounds like you're kind of looking at, we're probably talking, you know, $2,000. Uh, you know, yeah, because there, there is easily some stores where I pay about $600 a month. A month. I'm talking 450 for all of them. So I would say this all is right. worth us. Getting together. Let me keep your I'm gonna keep your number. Uh, uh, let, me, let me let me speak with my partner. Seferino, man, that that that, yes, that doesn't put any money on either of our pockets in either of our pockets, man. Talk to your partner. I'm talking about based on what you just said. I'm talking about saving you like two thousand dollars a month, maybe more. Okay. On a on no contract, and I'm not gonna sell you anything. Let's get together, man. But I can't go to Vero because I literally run 20 well, appointments then, then, a day. I'm going to keep your, your phone number right now. And uh, what's your name? Is Joe, right? Yep, Joe Wagner. 
And let's let's by the end of today, I know you're a busy guy running nine stores and your partner is too. There is nothing going on that's going to put this kind of money in your pocket, man. I've done this a long time. I know you get a lot of calls. No, no BS. You, nobody else is calling you going to save you two grand a month, man. Nobody. Call your partner. I would love if I could get both. How many partners do you have? One? One partner? Yeah, there's only two. Yeah, it's only two of us. If I could get both of you at your location in Sebring, man, the only reason I'm saying Sebring is because I have to run 20 appointments a day. I can't, I can't go, you know, three hours out of my way for, for an appointment. If I could get you guys to meet me there, it's worth 2000 bucks a month, man. So call me back or I'm going to call you by the end of the day and let's take it serious, man. In 10 minutes, that's the kind of money we're talking about. All right. All right, man, I've got your number here, Joe, and uh, <clears throat> let me talk to him and uh, see what he thinks, which, I mean, it sounds pretty good, you know. Ten minutes with me, man, and if nothing else, you're going to learn something. So thanks for calling me back, man. I'll talk to you real shortly. If I don't hear from you, I'm going to call right. you back, all right? All right, thank you. Later, bro. Uh, bye. Bye. All right, there we go, baby. Ask him how many stores he has. <laughs> Manny. Thanks, Manny. Manny, I got you, bro. I got you, Manny. All good, man. I would be interested in 500 leads for Madison. All right, Kelly, we'll get there. Uh, sick. All right, Manny, thanks for your, thanks for your participation. Uh, Manny, for sure. I got you, bro. I hope you're taking notes. So there, there you go. We sucked him in. If that's a deal or not, I have no freaking idea. But that guy is going to be in Sebring on Thursday or Friday. I promise you that by the time uh, by the time we're done. All right, so let's keep rolling here. Where were we? Uh, artistic Auto Body. Next. Nine stores. Normally, I don't really go over the details like that. When people want a ton of details, I'll, I'll try to be vague and say that's why I'm coming. You know, it's more complex than an Artistic Body Works. This one, I can help you. Hey, sorry about that. Is this uh, Steven? Yeah, he's in his out with a client right now. Oh, okay, gotcha. Maybe you can help me, man. I have him as my main contact, but this is Joe Wagner. How, how's your day going? I'm doing real good. How about yourself? Doing good, man. We're getting our week rolling around here. Um, I, I'm actually <laughs> calling um, from Easy Pay. I don't, again, I don't know if you handle this or not, but they're sending me out to Sebring on Thursday. I'm going over this new cash discount program. Um, it's kind of 50 50. Have, have you heard of that yet, or do you help out with this? uh no let me just get speak for you oh perfect thanks yeah hold on one second all right we're gonna make purple our our to take action today color by the end of the day we're gonna look for purples hello steve speaking steve how you doing man Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Sorry to interrupt you from what you had going on there. Uh, ARX day, we're good. Yeah, we're rolling, getting the week going. So here, here, here's what oh, I'm you're calling. You're coming to do a welding class tomorrow? No, man. <laughs> no, I'm not coming for welding. I'm coming up there Thursday. Um, they've got me actually calling from Easy Pay, and I'm going over this new program called the Cash Discount. So it's kind of a 50-50 thing. I'm not sure if you've heard of it yet, but that, does that ring a bell, the Cash Discount program? Yeah. No. Who are you with? With, with Easy Pay. So, so here's the here's the scoop, man. I know you get a thousand phone calls, so I'll get to the point and let you off, man. So, what the cash discount program is is it sets you at a maximum ninety dollars a month to accept card payments. Literally, no matter how much you process, you never pay more than ninety bucks. So, for a business. Oh, hang on. You actually got the wrong person. You need my wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she does a credit card statement and stuff like that. Okay. Is she in by so, chance? Hold one minute. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, hi. All right. Did I finally make it to the Queen Bee? Can I help you? <laughs> I, I've talked to a couple people. I ended up with you. So, sorry for interrupting you. So th this is Joe Wagner. How are you? Fine. All right. So the reason why I'm calling, I'll get to the point. Um, I'm calling because we're going over a program called the cash discount program. And it's, it's kind of a 50, 50. Um, have, have you heard of that yet? The cash discount program? I don't even know what you're, who company you're from. 
Oh, so, sorry. I, I thought I thought they passed on who who was calling. Sorry, the Joe Wagner with Easy Pay. So okay. So what the cash discount program is is it it sets you at a maximum of ninety dollars to accept card payments. So literally, you you never pay more than ninety dollars. And I, I don't come and ask for statements and do proposals. It's a program that eliminates all the, all the little fees and statement fees and annuals and all the fees associated with taking cards. And we set you at a price where you could literally know every month, no matter your processing, what the bill would be. So again, they're sending me out there Thursday and Friday. I'm going to be out there both days, but Thursday and Friday takes me about five, 10 minutes. I go over um, the literature and just show you how this program works. And if you like it, then you basically get rid of that big bill you have. If you don't like it, then you can keep the bill that you have. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Do you have five, 10 minutes th Thursday morning, like 9, 30, 11 o'clock-ish? On a Thursday? Yeah, that this- the this one day I don't have time. As of what? That is the one day I don't have time. Okay. Uh, how about Friday? My Friday is pretty open at this point. I've got mornings, afternoons. My Friday, because we're early on Monday, is still pretty available. What's What's best for you, morning or what's afternoon? What's the company? Uh, it's Easy Pay, like the letters Easy and then Pay. So I'm I'm not your current no, company. Not, you're not able to stop any of the actual credit card fees, correct? I mean, you know, there's the percentages that. That's what I come out. That occur, that's what, that's that what I come out when, to show you. I know, but I mean, if I'm running a corporate card or a, or a cash card, of course, my, my fees are higher because they're charging fees. You um, can't stop that. Am I correct? I, I can't stop Visa MasterCards, but we have a system set up where that won't even affect you. Like when people get on the cash discount program with us, the game is over, literally. I've, I've done this 11 years, so I do understand how many calls you get. I understand, you know, people have come in and get misinformed. So with cash discount, you're put at either 25, 50 or $90, depending on what your average credit card processing month is. But 90 is the maximum. I have accounts that process half a million dollars a month and they pay $90. Okay, so rather than making this like complex and trying to do it over the phone, when I come out, I actually have some literature and some, you know, so what I need to actually show it to you. And that's why I come out so that I can correctly explain it so that you understand how it works. And again, it doesn't take me more than five, 10 minutes. If Thursday doesn't work, which obviously it doesn't, Friday, if you give me five, 10 minutes, by the time I walk out of there, you'll either know about something you didn't before or you won't have a bill anymore, you know, 25, 50, 90. And I didn't even get your, I didn't even get your name. I still have, I still have Steve on here because I went from the, the first to Steve and now to you. What was your name? It's Diana. Diana. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Diana. I know you get a million calls on this. So what, what do you say? All right. 10, 10 o'clock on Friday or, or 9 o'clock? What time on Fridays? It's, it's going to be worth your time. I'm not coming to waste your time. Um, it doesn't really matter. I mean, on Friday, when it doesn't. I mean, you're there. You're there either way, right? <laughs> right. Yep. All right. So how about, I, eight, but. How, how about I make you my nine o'clock unless you prefer eight? I'll, I'll be out there. I'm trying I'm to let you pick. Eight. Not here at eight. Oh, okay. Nine o'clock. I'm making my first appointment Friday morning. Yep. Are you a coffee? Okay. Is Are... it easy pay E A S Y or easy? Easy. The letter's easy. You can go check us out. You can find all sorts of YouTube videos. You'll probably see me as well if you go YouTube us. So nine o'clock. I'll make you my first appointment. Are you a coffee drinker, Diana? I have my own. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sound, sounds good. I was going to, I'm a coffee drinker. I'll be getting one before either way. So, all right. So you, are you still at 100 Lunsford road? Yeah. And not, you might want to be, you know, 15 minutes late. It's not a bad idea. I get here be somewhere around nine. 
I'm going to put you at 930 just so we can, you know. That's probably smarter. All right. I appreciate the tip. I'll see you 930 and I appreciate your time, okay? All right. Thank you. Thanks, Diana. Bye-bye. <laughs> Got to do the waltz, baby. Got to do the dance, Diana. I'm going to assume it's Odell. Maybe I shouldn't assume. Oh, he said wife, Odell. Got to do the waltz, baby. All right, there we go. Boom. Let's get some green on the board. 100. Lens board. Let's see. She didn't want my coffee, though. <laughs> I, I would have brought, brought her a coffee. No doubt. Uh, with her, there's nothing, there's no crazy notes on her. Okay, so something, a, a little tip for you. Um, I'm all about mental stuff, and I don't ever put things um, that would mentally, you know, set me walking through that door with lower expectations. I'm not going to put in here, you know, was hesitant, was questioning me about the fees. I don't need any of that. Like, I'm just, that's kind of everybody anyways. I'm only going to put notes like who they're currently with. Uh, this guy had heard about CDPs and sin 2.0. So when I walk in, right, these are helpful notes. I don't put notes that aren't helpful, like doesn't trust me, right? <laughs> I'm just going to walk in the door with a good attitude and none of that stuff matters. Because the truth is at 930 on Friday, she could be a totally different person than the one I just got. So, all right, so we've got another green. And you get one of those desks that actually you can raise. I don't know if you guys have seen that, the desks that Hello? raise up. Yeah, Debbie? Yes. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Okay, how are you? I'm doing good. Who is this? Hey, this is Joe Wagner. I'm not sure if this is going to apply to you. I'll, I'll, I'll make it quick. I'm calling with EasyPay, and I'm setting up some appointments going over this uh, cash discount program. Um, are you guys taking credit cards right now? Yeah. You are, okay. So cash discount, you may have seen this around Sebring already. It's a program that eliminates the fees to you to accept cards. No, I, I have Bank of America. Well, I know, but you, you have fees, right? So right now you pay fees to accept cards. What this program does is it yeah, eliminates- Yeah, a good time right there. I can't talk right now about that. Can, can I sit down with you Thursday? I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the fees to accept cards. That's literally all I'm trying to do here. No. Thursday. I'm busy Thursday. Can I catch you Friday morning before you really get going? I'll be out Thursday and Friday in five minutes. I literally can show you how to, you don't have to pay those fees. And I'm not going to, you know, twist your arm into doing something, but you have fees right now to accept cards and this program will get rid of them. Can I catch you at like eight o'clock first thing in the day? All right. Are you, are you still okay, Friday? On 2232 Karen Boulevard, is that is that your house or do you have an actual retail spot? No, that's my house. Okay. Can I meet you there at 8 o'clock on Friday? I'll just grab it for 5, 10 minutes and I'll just go over this. Okay. Okay. Right. I've got you locked in for Friday and you'll, you'll be there at 8 o'clock just to confirm one last time. Yep. Debbie, thank you so much. My name is Joe Wagner. I will see you Friday at 8 in the morning, okay? Okay. Thank you, Debbie. Right, bye -bye. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. There it is. Just give me some green, baby. All right, there we go. Two, two, three, two. So one thing I love about... I'm um, doing this on the phones. She said, yes, she takes cards. That's it. Nothing else too crazy going on there. Oh, with Bank of America. With B of A. That's valuable to know. B of A is really expensive. Um, one thing that I love about having leads versus door-to-door -door is if you went out to Sebring and you went door-to-door -door there through their like downtown and all the retail spots, you're probably going to find like 50 businesses, right? This isn't a huge town. The population in this town, I think, is 11,000, right? So if you're doing door-to-door -door out there, there's plenty of businesses. But when you, do, when you do this on the phone, we just set an appointment at a house, right? You would never go to that person. A lot of these people were calling. You would never actually walk into their business because you wouldn't see it. 
So working the phones, you really get um, you know in touch with every single business owner that's out there. So all right, we got an appointment. Our Friday, we've got two and two on Thursday. All right, let's keep rolling here. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with something like that for the next hour or two. Just be really direct. Find people I hate their fees and tell them how. At at this. Thank point, you for calling. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. At this assurance. point, I mean, it, it takes Please time while to we get connect the perfect script, and with this program, and just just be really direct. Let's find people that you set an appointment with someone, telling them that they're going to sign up. So this week's about is finding a, a finding a pitch, and you know. It's a great date, Mr. Reuter. Hey, good morning. Is uh, Brian in? Uh, may I say it's calling? Uh, yeah, this is Joe Wagner. Okay, just a moment, please. Thank you. Your call is important to us. We'll be right. Hello, it's Brian. Brian, good morning. How are you, man? Great. Awesome. Sorry to interrupt you first thing in the morning. Um, I'm I'm giving you a call. I'm I'm coming out Thursday. I'm going over this program. Um, that gets rid of the credit card fees, or basically you pass the fee on to the customers. Is that something you'd be interested in sitting down? It, get, it gets rid of your bill, man. Just be really blunt and direct about it. Does this mean changing our processing? Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm not your current processor, correct? And this program, Cash Discount, you've seen it probably around Sebring. A lot of people are already getting on it, just switched to it, where... The, the customer absorbs the fee. So instead of you paying all those rewards fees, the customer pays it theirself. And what it does is it gets rid of the bill on your end. That's the real cut and dry, really direct version. Um, basically, I come out. There's a lot more to it, obviously. I come out in person, explain it, sit down. I've got some literature I go over. And if, you, if you're into it, you wouldn't have your big expensive bill anymore. Hold I'll, on a second. Okay. There you go. That might work. All important to us. We'll be right with you. Did everyone just hear that? I like that script. We realize your time is valuable. No, we're going to stay with what we got. Really? Even, even, even yep. if you can get rid of them? Yep. All right, man. No worries. Thanks, bud. You got it. Bye. Bye. Uh, there was no beating around the bush on that on that pitch, huh? That's that's more my style. Just hey, you into it? If someone says, "Yeah, come on by on that," you're that's gonna be a really solid schedule. Hello, you've reached Musselman's Appliance and TV Service Center, phone number 863-386-0897. We are unable to answer the phone right now, but if you could please leave your name and phone number, we will return your phone call as soon as we can. Thank you. <laughs> That's true. We're going to go with this. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to just be super direct and see what happens here. Thanks for the script, Joe. No problem, Ken. I'm sitting here playing around with another one. If you figure out something that's working really well for you, we'll all, we'll all learn together here. It's been a long time since I've been on the phones, and yesterday was the first day I ever did it with this program, the cash discount. So I think we can come up with a script that's just really cut and dry. issues and more hey good morning is gerald around may i say who's calling uh yeah this is joe wagner with with easy pay oh he's all set honey he, he's all set for i i know he takes cards right now so I'll, I'll give you the quick rundown here before you let me go i'm coming out i'm going over a program where you guys i'm, I'm losing you i'm sorry can you hear me can you hear me liar Oh, for sure. I'll definitely share. Thanks, Ken. Go get them, man. Let's get some, get these appointments. Good morning, Off Top. 
Hey, good morning. It's uh, Pam. Yes. Hey, Pam. Good morning. This is Joe Wagner. How are you? I'm fine. Awesome. Um, I'm just giving everybody a call out there. I'm, I'm coming out to Sebring. I'm going over a program where, where uh, your business doesn't pay the fees to accept credit cards anymore. No, 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 no. I, I don't do credit cards. Oh, you don't even take them? No, sir. What do you guys do there? I take checks or money. Yeah, no, I got and you. I've done it. And I've done it for 36 years, and it works well. Would you take cards if you didn't pay the fees? That's literally the nope, this program. Nope, you nope, nope, nope. Everybody knows that I do cash or check. Off the top, is this like a, a hair salon? It's a barbershop. A barbershop. It's just me. I, I got gotcha. you. Do you have an ATM in there, or people are just, they just know? No. Got it. Got it, got it. It's okay, it's nothing, take me else, off your list. it's nothing else, Pam. It's just the convenience of it, right? No, 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 <laughs> no. Thank right. you. All right, Pam. See ya. That blows my mind that a barber shop doesn't take cards. Especially if, if why, why would you run a business not take cards if they didn't think you're going to cost you a bunch of money? It's crazy. People we get to deal with. Good morning, my office. Good morning. Is uh, Mr. Page in by chance or back with a client? May I ask calling, please? This is Joe Wagner. Or, uh, okay. I don't know if he, I don't know if he has an office manager that helps out with this stuff. Um, what I'm calling about is I'm I'm coming out there to Sebring. I'm going over a program where he wouldn't have to pay he would not have to pay the fees to accept the credit cards where the customers do. And I was just seeing if he'd be willing to sit down and possibly get rid of the fees he pays to accept cards. Um, he doesn't accept any cards at all. Oh, you guys don't take cards there? Mm-mm. What kind, what kind of law do you guys practice? Um, criminal and personal injury. So this, this program, it would just give them the ability to pay by cards and it wouldn't cost uh, Mr. Page a bunch of fees. You know, most, most people that don't take cards because of the fees, is it possible to, to run it by him? I mean, if, if it didn't cost him an arm and a leg to do it, he might be, uh, might be open to it. Or, uh, or I the doubt office it because he hasn't used that, used, needed to use that in over 30 years. So I think he's fine with how he operates. If, if nothing else, just a convenience thing. Can we at least ask him? I mean, I'm, well, I already know the answer, so that's what I'm saying. He he wouldn't be interested. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. I would fire an assistant that made decisions for me, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. You don't want to pay your fees, Jeff. Come on. Paradise. Hey, good morning, Jeff. Yes. Jeff, this is Joe Wagner. How are you? All right. Awesome, man. Sorry to bother you first thing. Um, basically, I'm calling. I'm coming out to Sebring. I'm going over this uh, program where you don't pay the fees to accept the cards anymore. Your your customers would. Would Would you be willing to sit down, possibly get rid of the fees to accept credit cards? I'm sure you've heard of Oh, it. not at this time. Have, have you heard of this program? Have you heard of this program? It's all right. If I can get people to hang up quicker and make more. I'm I'm sticking with this script for for hours. I think I think this is gonna set appointments and it's gonna find the exact right people to look for. Even if I get a little bit less. Maybe it gets more. We'll find out. We've got to stick with it for enough calls to to know the to know the result. But it is really direct. People that set appointments on this script are going to be deals. Dr. Horton's office. This is Debbie. How may I help you? Hi, Debbie. Is Dr. Horton available or probably with a patient? He is with a patient. Can I get a message to him? Um, sure. Or maybe you could help. Are you the office? Are you the doctor's uh, office manager by chance? Uh, that would be his wife, and she is out of the office right now. Gotcha. Okay. Um, she's probably the one I would do. I know they do with a lot of doctors and attorneys. It's normally the office manager. 
I'm going over a program. They're, they're sending me out in person. I'm trying to set up appointments for Thursday to go over a program where they don't pay the fees to accept credit cards, where the customer actually pays the fee. And I was just, just seeing if they'd be willing to sit down for five, 10 minutes and go over this program, which literally eliminates that bill for them. So can I- Okay, tell me what, it, what you broke up when you told me what your program is. I didn't hear it, anything. <laughs> it, it gets rid of the fees that they pay to accept credit cards where the, the customer actually absorbs it, not, not, uh, not the doctor's office. So uh, okay, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just setting up we, appointments to go over the details in person. I'm coming out on Thursday and Friday and just hoping to set up an appointment. Yeah, let me get a number that she can call you back because I'm not sure that's something that we um, want to set aside to do time right now. I got gotcha. you. Uh, my number is 561-264. One seven two two. It's okay. it's gone really well on Sebring. A lot of people are picking up on it. You're starting to see it. Well, you'll go in, use your card, and and we'll end up paying our own our own stuff for it, because the fees are costing businesses a ton of money. And well, we've got very low fees because we've just gone over them within the last two weeks. Um, we've got set rates, so they're very low. I got gotcha. you. Um, it, it's still higher than nothing. <laughs> so. Yeah, a couple, it's a couple percent, so I'm not sure it's something they even want to, you know, try to even look at at this point. No so. worries. I'm real direct what I'm calling about, and people that are interested are the ones I'd like to sit with. If they're interested, they can give me a call. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Peg's Alterations in the home of Peg and Frank Sawyer. It's a home-based business that you would never reach doing door-to-door -door right there. I was talking about it yesterday. When you, you do the phones, there's so many businesses in, a, in an area that you would never find doing. Good morning, Pell and Associates. Hey, is uh, Patricia in by chance? Uh, she's in with a client. Is there a message I may take? Um, yeah, this is Joe Wagner. I'm calling with Easy Pay. I'm trying to set up some appointments, I'm going over a program that gets rid of the fees she pays to accept cards. Um, is there an office manager that helps out with that kind of stuff by chance? Uh, let me see if he's here. Hold on one second. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. And you're Joe Wagner. You're with who? Joe Wagner with Easy Pay. And I'm going over a program that gets rid of one of their bills. I mean, it's pretty Okay. Tough. Hold. All right. Hold on one second. Thank you. Okay. He is not answering. So do you want to leave a message number and I can have him call you back or you want to try back? Yeah. If you could take my number, that'd be perfect. My okay. Name is five six one, five seven uh -huh. one, five seven one, five six four three, five six four three. Okay. And yeah, Joe Wagner. If you can call back, I'm hoping to set up an appointment. I'll be out there uh, Thursday and Friday. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, hello. Yeah, good morning. It's Richard? This is me. Richard, what's going on? This is Joe Wagner. How are you this morning? Can't complain. Ah, oh, excellent answer. I, I was just reaching out to huh. you. I've got, a, I've got something that people do complain about that I'm trying to get rid of. I've got a program that gets rid of the fees businesses pay to accept cards. Basically, instead of you paying the fee, it gets passed on to the customer. Just to be really direct, no no smoke around here. Would you be willing to sit down with me on Thursday, go over a program that would get rid of that bill that you pay to accept cards? No, thank you. We don't accept cards, but thanks you for don't calling. Take ca what do you guys do? I thought that was like a cell phone store. Anyone who says yes to this pitch is a deal. I said in the cart. Thank you for calling Fisher Penny. This is Jay. How may I help you? Hey, what's going on, Jay? Is Jimmy in? Huh? I was, I was trying to reach Jimmy. Uh, Jay, this is Jay. Oh, Jay, what's going on, Jay? Sorry, man. Hey, this is this is Joe Wagner. How you doing? I'm just giving you a call here from Easy Pay. I uh, get right to. Uh -huh. I'm setting up some appointments. I'm coming out in person on Thursday, going over a program that um, basically the business owner doesn't pay the fees or accept cards. The customer does. 
Uh, would would you, uh -huh. would you have five, ten minutes on Thursday to sit down and go over a program that literally would get rid of your, your fees? Um, I don't, I wouldn't have to say so on that. Um, I'm not the manager or anything like that. Um, uh, the manager actually comes in, I want to say, about uh, 11 o'clock, probably 12. Who, who's the actual owner? Is this a big corporate location? Um, no, this is actually a uh, franchise. This is a big. This is a big uh, uh corporate a uh, corporate uh got it. Print, okay. I mean, uh, uh, got it. I thought it was a. Hello. I thought it was just an independently owned business. All right. If it's all corporate, then there's a lot more hoops to jump through. So, all right. I appreciate yes, your time, man. Thank you. No problem. Bye. Postman Engineering. Yeah. Good morning, it's, uh, Roger. No, this is Mike Walker. How you doing? I'm good, Mike. How's your morning going? Doing uh, pretty good. Awesome, it's, it's all right. It's all right. So, you need you need Dale? Uh, yeah, I was trying to reach Dale. This is Roger Dale. So maybe. Okay, let me put Roger. Let me put Roger Dale on. Hold on one moment, okay? Yeah, right. Thank you, man. Hold on. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Dale? Yes. Hey, this is Joe Wagner. I'm calling. Uh, I'm not sure if this actually applies or not. Um, I've got a program I'm coming out to go over um, that gets rid of the fees businesses are paying to accept credit cards. I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are even taking cards or not down there. Uh, we occasionally take one, but no, I wouldn't be interested. In, get, in getting rid of the fees to accept the cards? Huh? The, you wouldn't be interested in getting rid of the fees? To accept the credit cards? Rid of the fees, there's got to be a kit somewhere. Yeah, so in, instead of you guys paying the fee, it's passed on. You're, you're seeing it all around Sebring. Where you, you, you go and you buy something, and instead of you, the business owner, paying the rewards miles, it, it's passed on to each transaction. So basically, I come out, I've got some literature. I'm not expecting people to, you know, yay or nay over a phone call, obviously. I come out in person, go over some literature, and actually show know how, how we do that would you be willing to sit down for five ten minutes because that that's what we're talking about is getting rid of the fees i'll be talk about it yep i'll listen um i've got thursday nine thirty in the morning 11 o'clock on thursday is, is thursday all right for you Uh, yes. Wait, which one's 9.30 better? is better. 9.30, okay. You said 9.30? Yep, I've got 9.30 open. And then just to clarify, you're still at 29.25 Ken Kenilworth Boulevard? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I've got you 9.30 on Thursday. Again, my name's Joe Wagner. I'll be, I'll be in and out, man. I'll be real quick. I'm a direct guy. I'll bring the literature, go over it with you, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Thank you, Dale. Appreciate it. See you Thursday. All right. Yes. Bye. All right. Bada boom. No BS. And those those appointments, you get somebody who just flat out understands that. That's 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 a good appointment. All right. Nine thirty. Dale. We got green, baby. Sometimes you're just like, give me some green. That's what we're doing it for is the green, baby. Polston, engineer. Polston. Engineering. Like, no, I wouldn't be interested in that. You wouldn't be interested in getting rid of the fees? That's what we're talking about. Uh, yeah, I'd sit and listen to that. All right. That's what we're talking about, Dale. All right. Phone number. I always put their phone number. You never know. Five, 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 six, four. Does he cross his cards? Yes. That's it. Nothing. Nothing left to say there. All right. First screen. I got a little bit in the chat here. Woohoo! Solid. Can't hear the person answering the phone. 
You can't hear the person answering the phone, Manny. Jandy, Kevin, everyone else, you can hear them. You can hear them answering the phone, correct, everybody? Yes, you can hear. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm not sure, Manny. It's, it's set up so that you guys can hear everything. All right, so Thursday morning is good. That's only 10 o'clock. I ain't going to get busy out there. Not going out, getting hotels, staying away from my family for, for nothing. Let's freaking stack Thursday here. Uh, Angel Home Care. Lori, I blocked my phone. There we go. All right, we are on the board. I hear you, not them. Yeah, Manny, I don't know why. Everyone else, everyone else, it's working. It, it shouldn't, I can't cherry pick who it works for or doesn't. Precious Angels. Hey, good morning. Is this Lori? No, uh-uh. Okay, is Lori around by chance? No, she isn't. Okay. Um, maybe someone else can help me. Obviously, I have her as my point of contact. Uh, but this this is Joe Wagner. I'm I'm coming out to Sebring, going over a program where um, you don't pay the fees to accept credit cards anymore, where the the customer does. Um, is she the one that would handle that stuff, or who would? I no, we don't we don't accept credit cards. Never have. Oh, you don't even take cards. No. Got it. Okay. Home care. Thank you. <laughs> is that some, All right. is that something that would the customers would use? Bye bye. Hearing instruments. I wonder if we timed it, how much, how quickly it gets for somebody to understand what we're doing and, and to get to a, a no. Because it's great. If that number is short, it means we can get through more people. Hey, Kevin, what are you hearing? Center. Hello? Hello? Hello. Randolph? Yes. Randolph, good morning. This is Joe Wagner. How are you? Okay. Awesome. Hey, real real quick, I'm just calling because I'm coming out to Sebring. I'm going over a program where you don't pay the fees to accept the uh, credit cards anymore, where, where the customers actually pay that fee. Um, would, would you be willing to sit down, possibly get rid of the, the fees to accept credit cards by chance? Um, this, this program gets we don't take credit fees. Cards. I've yeah. not, not lowers them a little bit. Like, like you wouldn't have the, all the fees and percentages anymore. So I, I'm setting a bunch of appointments Thursday, Friday, where I come out for five, 10 minutes with some literature and actually sit down. You'll have to give, you'll have to give me a call Thursday and we'll set up a time. All right. Thank you. My, my Thursday okay. gets booked up. Is there a time that generally works? I don't, don't, don't do that to me, Randolph. That's like an appointment, but not an appointment. Come on, man. Oh. I'm just, I'm just thinking here if I want to call him back. So, Kevin, what, what do you think of this pitch, man? I mean, it's pretty, pretty straight in their face, right? I love it, Joe. Um... I was already thinking about with my pitch, just saying, "Hey, look, if I could get your get rid of your bill and you paid a max of ninety, we'd be talking, and just yeah. go shoot for the hip, you know." Yeah, right? if you make two hundred calls, dude, you set ten appointments on that, even six appointments on that, right? Six appointments of people that just flat out get it, and then you've anchored ninety in their mind as well. So when you're walking in, you can charge ninety. <laughs> Yeah, you get there or you just lower it, and then they're even more pleasantly surprised. I, I'll, I go over the detail. I'll go over the details once I get there. Man. All right. Thanks, Kevin. No problem, Joe. Gosh, this guy's a green. He's like, yes, let's freaking make an appointment, but I got to set a time then. That's, that, that just doesn't work. I'm just going to put my notes up here. I'm going to move them later. I copy all that, what will that do? What the heck, that's not what I want.
I mean, he flat out understood what I was saying. He just didn't want to set a time. I want to keep track of that stuff. Unfortunately, it's not a green, man. I need a time. Good morning, Prescott Lawn and Pest Control. Hi, good morning, it's, uh, Debbie. Yes. Hey, Debbie, good morning. This is Joe Wagner. I was, uh, I was just giving you a call here real quick. I'm coming out to Sebring. I'm going over this program um, where the businesses don't pay the fees to accept the cards anymore, where the, where the customers actually pay the fee. Um, would, would you have five, 10 minutes to, to sit down, possibly discuss getting rid of the fees to accept credit cards? Um, let me think on that. I mean, that would be good for me, but let me, th let me think on that. It's, it's um, call me back and uh, I need to talk to, um, to no, somebody else that's in the office. No. So let me think on that and then give me a call no, back. That's fine. Just, just to, just to clarify though, I'm not like expecting like a yes or no. What I do is I come out with some literature and I actually show it. Like there was a law that was passed. I go over some examples and actually show it and uh you know go over more than i'm not just going to come like with an app i actually have a bunch of information i go over you know it's gotten really popular in sebring you and obviously your partner uh, would have to make that decision could i just mark it down i literally have like four spots left on thursday I, i'm filling and I'll, I'll i'll come in person it's going to actually be me coming and meeting with you can i lock in one of these spots with you and then you know after we get the you you can't the the only thing on Thursday is I've got my workman's comp audit, which I on Thursday, and I don't know what time it is. So if you were to, if you were to, right, if, right. I'm if also, they're here, then I can't do anything with you. I'm I'm also there on Friday. Um, if that's if that makes any difference to you, and I can do it first thing in the morning or around lunchtime. I still have open as well on Friday. If that, if that's just makes more sense for you. And if something comes, if something comes um, up, I mean, if customer walks in, I mean, I understand I'm not, you know, at the top of the list, but if I can lock in a time before I get booked up, can I call like Friday 10 o'clock or 10.30 around this time or is earlier better? Let, let's, do, let's do Friday at 10 o'clock. And what's your phone number? My phone number is 561-264-1722. And again, my name is Joe Wagner. And I'll, I'll be, I'll be quick. I understand you're a busy business owner. Uh, I'll go over the information that you need and we'll go from there. If you like it, you, you save a lot of money. If not, at least you know what's going on and what's available to you. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll see, you. see you on Friday Bye. then. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Salud. Got to push, got to clarify. All right, that's what we needed, baby. Two out of four. Thank you, Prescott Lawn. Uh, we want Debbie. Prescott Lawn. Press control. Oh, I didn't. I didn't confirm her address. I'm not going to necessarily call back for that, but. Should have done that. Eight six three. Gotta go through the reds to get the greens. And we got that blue too. That's a good little let's keep rolling here. Notes said great for me. <laughs> all right said so that'd be great for me yes it will be great for you okay perfect rock and roll next tin team let's get this schedule booked with people that understand this i like it i like this pitch for me this is more my style straight to the point when i get out there and debbie's paying four hundred dollars a month don't worry, when I'm face to face, I will go over all of that and they will be fine with it. Hello, this is Brett. Brett, good morning. This is Joe Wagner. How are you? 
Not too bad. Cool, man. Happy Tuesday morning. Um, try to be real quick here with you. I'm, uh, I'm calling because I'm coming out to Sebring. I'm going over a, a program where you don't pay the fees anymore to accept credit cards, where l your customers would actually absorb the fee. Um, would you be willing to sit down for five, ten minutes with me, go over possibly getting rid of your, your fees to accept credit cards? Um, I'm not going to be here. I'm actually out doing a job for the rest of the week. That's a great. That's um, and I know I've, job, talked, man. That's I've awesome. talked to several people, several people that right now with me using Square, because uh, I I could pull up my report. I think last month I maybe did six seven hundred dollars. Got it. Yeah. So Square Square is I think some of you guys do about two or three thousand dollars. Yeah. So if if someone's not doing a lot, we have we would put twenty five dollars just because it does cost us money to have an account. And you're and you're right. You, you're already familiar. When you're at that price range, Square is perfect for you. It's not profitable for any of us, and you're not spending a lot because you're not running a lot. So you're literally no. the perfect candidate to use Square, and you're you're on the right plan. I appreciate your right. I understand if I start doing five, six thousand dollars a month, yeah, Square's not the way to go. Yeah. Hey, just out of curiosity, not not to keep postponing, but what kind of job does a tinning business get that that uh, takes a week? What are what are you working on? Oh, I have another business. It's a camera system. Like uh, security systems. Yeah, security, closed circuit TV. Got it. Okay, gotcha. Me and another buddy started it back a, a couple of years ago, and this is actually a church. They've got 28 cameras going in, so doing all the networking and setting up our switches, it, it's going to take a few days. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I thought it was for tinning. I thought maybe you were tinning a whole, a whole building out there or something. So right on, Brett. Keep up the good work. Thanks for your time, man. All right, sir. Later. All right. Print shop, baby. Here we go. Give me a couple more greens. I feel it. Good morning. Thanks for calling the print shop. Hey, good morning. Is Ernest around? Okay, yes. Can I ask who's calling? Uh, yeah, this is Joe Wagner. Okay, hold on just a second. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hello. Ernest, good morning. Yes. Hey, this is uh, this is Joe Wagner. I apologize for for interrupting you, Ernest. Um, I've, I'll be real quick. I'm calling because I'm coming out to Sebring. I'm going over um, a program here that you don't pay the fees anymore to accept credit cards, where your customers actually do. Would Would you be willing to? See yeah, that? I'm I'm not interested, Joe. I, I've I've been down that line too many times. Yeah, I know. I'm people, happy with what I have. A lot of people are doing the program. Have you already sat down and actually looked at it? You You already know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. Gotcha. I do. And like I said, I, I'm very loyal to where I am, and I'm not changing because every time I change, it's nothing but a headache. Yeah. It, even if there was no so, fees, man? Yeah, no fees. <laughs> I appreciate you calling, though. Later, man. I appreciate your time. Thanks. All right. Yeah, you too. Bye. And people appreciate that directness, too. Uh, real estate. We're not doing real estate office. Can't do that. Bookkeeping system. Simmons. Hey, good morning. Uh, I was trying to reach uh, Betty. Uh, regarding? Uh, so this this is Joe Wagner. I'm calling with Easy Pay. I'm, I'm going over a program. I, I do with a lot of bookkeepers and CPAs um, where they pass. She's retired. He retired? Yep. All right. So I don't know if, if you took over. So I'm going over a program a lot of CPAs and bookkeepers pass on to their clients about getting rid of the fees they pay to accept credit cards. Yeah, this is not a bookkeeper's office anymore. Oh, it's not. Oh, flat. Okay, gotcha. All right, I'll just completely. All right, bye-bye.
Thank you. Yep. No phone number, no phone number. Quality pest control. Oh. Yeah, hello, Dan? Yes, sir. Hey, Dan, sorry to interrupt you out there. This is Joe Wagner. How's your morning going? Good. Cool. I'll be, uh, I'll be real quick. I know you're a busy guy. Um, basically, call, I'm calling because they're sending me out um, to Sebring. I'm going over a program here where you guys don't pay the fees anymore to accept the cards, where your customers would actually pay the fee. Uh, I know a lot of people have already gone over this. If, if you haven't already, would you be willing to sit down, possibly get rid of the fees to accept the credit cards? Not this week. We can't, buddy. We're short, short of people this week. Going to be out of town. Um, Sebring, obviously, yeah, is we're real huge. If, if I'm out there next week, we set something up? Well, um, right now I don't want to set anything up. Because... Yeah, no, I, I, wouldn't set, I wouldn't set up a date and time right now. We're, just... short of, we're short of people, and we're in the middle of a remodel. So we're not doing anything right now until we get this thing remodeled. So I got you. check back in about 60 days, that'll be fine. Just out of curiosity, and I'm gonna let you go. How much you guys paying a lot in fees right now? Buddy, I don't know that. I don't Got look it. at it. Got it. Okay. If I'm out that way in 60 days, I will let you know, buddy. You got it. Hey, Thanks. What, what's an email? Let me let me email you a video, and then when you're ready, I'll I'll be around. What's your email? So send it to Donna at ridge-equipment.com. At ridge what equipment? Dash. Oh, dash. Hyphen. Equipment.com. Got yeah. it. I'll send something uh, over to Don. It'll be a little video explaining it. If you guys are into it, then just let me know and get back. All right, buddy. Thank you, Appreciate man. it. Bye. See you. Bye. Really cool guy. You never know. Send him a video. Let him, let him decide. Real cool guy. Uh, Steven Ridge florist get a lot of florist get a lot of everything really florist furniture places used car lots hello please leave a message after the tone Andy what do you think of this pitch did you like the other one I don't know if you're at your computer or not you like the other ones? A little, you know, I still have both here. Set up appointments, explain the cash discount, or do you like this just super direct one, Jandy? Thank you for calling This is Gabby, and how may I help you? Hey, good morning. Uh, is X trying to reach Dennis? I'm sorry, Dennis, not in the office. May I take a message? Uh, yeah, you, you might be the one that would help out with this. This, this is Joe Wagner. I'm actually calling. I'm coming out to Sebring. I'm trying to set up some appointments. I'm going over a program that gets me the uh, you guys pay to accept credit cards. And I'm trying to figure I'm out sorry? if I can sit down for five, ten minutes with the right person. Do you help Dennis with that, or does he handle this himself? Um, that would um, be Adam, who you would need to speak with. He's okay. the one that does all the books and the financing and stuff like that. Is is Adam around by chance? He is not. He's out on um on a couple jobs. Can I leave you with my uh -huh. number here? Um, basically, they pay they pay you know quite a bit to. You guys take credit cards, right? Yes. Yeah, so so every time you guys take a car, they're paying fees and stuff like that, and I have a way to get rid of those. So pretty important stuff. Can I leave you with my number, and then maybe he'll give me a call back? I'd love to yes. sit down with him if I could. Yes, go ahead with your number. All right, so my name's Joe Wagner, and then my phone number is 561-571-5646. Okay, I will let him know. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. No problem. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. To the chat. Yeah, I, I agree, Jandy. Right, let's just get down to the bread and butter. Let's get to the meat and potatoes quick. RJB Rehab, this is Susan, may I help you? 
Hey, Susan. I was uh, trying to reach Robert. Uh, may I tell him who's calling? Uh, yeah, this is Joe Wagner. Is, is he with a client right now? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm on the other side. I'll have to check. Um, does he know what it's about? Uh, no, I'm, I am trying to set up an appointment with him. And he, you may have an office manager who may be the one I'm probably supposed to set an appointment with. I'm, go, I'm going over a program just, just so you understand what I'm calling about. Going over a program that gets rid of the fees um, to accept credit cards where you guys literally wouldn't pay the fees anymore. And I'm just looking if he's willing to sit down for five, 10 minutes to discuss that. Uh, honestly, um, we, we probably won't do that right now. I hate to say it, things are a little hectic and I don't really have much time right now because it would be me you're talking to anyway. Yeah, you're, you're the office um, manager? Yeah. So, um, so what, honestly, it's just, I'm, I'm too swamped right now. I'll, I'll I hate give, to I'll say. Give, I'll give you the real quick rundown so we can see if it's worth either of our time. So you're seeing it around Sebring. It's picking up steam where instead of you guys paying all the fees, it gets passed on to the customer and it eliminates that bill. So I don't know if you guys, you know, run a little bit or a lot, but regardless how big your bill is, uh, this gets rid of all that fluctuation. Like right now it's a different amount every month. So what, what I do is I definitely not trying to consume a bunch of time. I've got some literature I go over. It takes me five, 10 minutes. If you guys get rid of your fees, great. If not, at least you know about it. I know it's hectic. Uh, the best thing I can actually tell you to do, because I'm, I'm in and out of the office and stuff, is just to send it by email. Because honestly, I don't have time for a meeting. What's your I'm what's sorry. Your no, 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 don't be sorry. You're busy. I get it. What's your it, Okay. Susan, S-U-S-A-N, at rjbrehab.com. I'll shoot you a video at the end of my day here and I'll have okay. a video. The video is like three minutes. It'll explain the program. If you're interested, let me know if you don't have time for a meeting and you do want to get rid of the bill. Obviously it's 2019. There's other ways to do it, but I will be out there okay. Thursday, Friday. So after you review it, if you'd like, give me a call. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. It's about the best you can do. I'm, I'm whoop, drop voicemail. I'm all about being a little pushy and going for it where I, where you can. And some people you just, you know, I'm not going to get her to be hard to get much time with a person like that. All right, but we're getting color here. This is, this is awesome. Get some freaking color. Thank you for calling Robin's nursery. For hey, Jandy, are you, are you making some calls yet? Or no, no, it's only seven. You're not even eight o'clock over there. <laughs> You're probably listening in your kitchen, getting breakfast going, huh? Bob. Come on, Bob. Thank you for calling Robin's Nursery. For customer service, press one. For bookkeeping, press two. Bookkeeping. Please hold a moment. You've reached Rachel with Robin's Nursery. Please leave me a message after the. Well, I will say, I don't remember at what number. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get really direct. But we definitely have more color sense it. Whether that's just a, you know, a fluke early, we're going to find out. But sense getting really direct. I definitely uh, we're seeing more color on our sheet here. But we're gonna we're gonna stick with this all day, and that's going to be the real outcome. How many greens are all that matters? But color is good when it comes to, you know, not everything red. Good morning, Ron's Automotive. May I help you? Uh, yeah, good morning. Is uh, Ron hanging out? Uh, he's working on a vehicle right now. Is there something I can help you with? Um, possibly. I know normally the manager is the one that, uh, that helps out with this stuff. This is Joe Wagner. I'm actually calling because I'm coming out to Sebring and I'm going over a program where um, you guys don't pay the fees to accept the credit cards anymore where the customers do. Um, would you guys be willing to sit down for five, 10 minutes on Thursday with me, go over possibly getting rid of the fees? No. Nope. You're the one that handles that stuff? I'm Ron's wife. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're the queen bee. I gotcha. <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you already sat down with somebody? A, a lot of people in Sebring are doing this. We're literally, instead of you absorbing the fees, 
they, they get past. Yeah, them. we don't want to make our customers pay for the fees. I, I gotcha. Would you be willing to lower the fees? I know you guys, that's not what we're, you know, we focus on cash discount, but we can still lower the fees. We've got a thousand dollar guarantee if you guys are interested in still saving a couple bucks without passing the fee on month to month, no contract. No. Well, I've, I've been you. doing this We're a while, so I'm, company we have. I'm direct. Who are you guys with? Avalon. Avalon? Did you sign up directly or through Costco or your bank? Uh, our bank. Your bank. So there's still going to be a lot of uh -huh. lot of wiggle room for you. I mean, you still still stay with the bank. What's your What's your percentage rate? The maximum rate that we have is 035 yeah. percent. So if you're with if you're with no, Avalon. No, thank you. No, thank you. Gotcha. You, you just don't like the credit card industry. If you give me a couple minutes, I can I can show you savings. That, that part's No, easy. thank you. All right, have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. That is about the nicest, stubborn person that's just going to keep saying no you'll ever meet. That's funny. So, folks, while you're out running appointments, if somebody just doesn't want cash discount, but they're going to save you money, we'll still do that. It is not our goal. Our goal is cash discount. That is what we focus on. But if someone wants to save money. Hello. Please leave a message. We'll still save them money. Palm Orthopedics. This is Shira. How can I help you? Hi, Shira. Um, I was trying to reach David. Is he around by chance? Uh, you mean Dr. Arango? Yes, please. Um, he is not. He is at the Winter Haven office. Is there something I can help you with? Gotcha. Um, are you the office manager by chance? And that's normally the one I end up talking with anyways. No, I can direct you to the office manager. May I ask who's calling? Um, yeah, this is Joe Wagner. And what's the office manager's name? Allison and Joe, who are you with? So I'm with Easy Pay. I'm trying to set up an appointment to come out and visit with them this week. So it sounds like Allison might be the one to talk to. Correct. Hold on one second. Please. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, come on, Allison. I'm gonna wait much longer. All right, can't do it. Can't waste that much time on hold. Unless they're already significantly interested. Boom, next. Family Cafe. Yeah, good morning. Uh, is Don around? No, they're not in until the weekend, hon. Oh, uh, only on the weekends. There an, only on the weekend. Is there another way to reach them when they're not in there? Uh, I can get your name and have him call you. Yeah, if you could do that, that'd be awesome. So this is Joe Wagner. Phil Wagner? Joe, J-O-E, sorry. Oh, Joe Wagner, you got it. Joe Wagner. My number that was a long way off. Yeah, that's all right. Five, six, one. Five, uh -huh. seven, one, five, okay. six, four, three. Five, six, one, five, seven, one, five, six, four, three. Correct. Yeah, if they can give me a call, okay. that'd, be, that'd be great. I appreciate it. 
I'll sure text him right now and tell him. Thank you much. Bye-bye. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. I'll leave it white in case they call, but if they're never there, then... Scosta Corporation, this is Sharon. Hello? Hello, hello. Is, is Scott around? Is who? Uh, Scott Stanley, is he around? Uh, no, he's not in today. Is there something we can help you with? Um, possibly. Is, is he at one of the other locations by chance? No, is there something I could help you with? Um, yeah, possibly. Um, so I'm calling, I don't know if he has a manager that helps with this. I'm calling to go over a program. They're sending me out on Thursday, Friday, a program that gets rid of the credit card fees so that you guys aren't the ones paying them or the customers actually do. Um, okay. Um, actually we don't take credit cards. So. Oh, you don't take them at all? No, not at all. Does he have the other? So I have three businesses for him here. Do any of them take credit cards? No. Got it. Okay. I will mark that accordingly, and I appreciate your time. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Searing Computers, Jim speaking. Yeah, hey, Jim. Is, uh, I was actually trying to reach Tim. Yeah, he's not here tomorrow. He's trying to meet with, but um, this is Joe Wagner. I'm coming out to see Bring Going Over a program where um, you guys don't pay the fees to accept the cards anymore, where the customer actually does. Um, is he the one that handles that? I'm trying to see if someone would be willing to sit with me for five, ten minutes and possibly get rid okay. of those fees, man. Um, I haven't yet. No, I, so I'm just reaching out now trying to see if I can get yeah, him five, ten minutes on either Thursday or Friday. Oh, no. so. Okay. Yeah, um, well, my, the does he ever come in? Contact him at uh, Kyle at SeabringComputers.com. I mean, I'll, I'll send an email. I, I'll just. Uh, yeah, he, he comes in, but he but he, he's not actually. Or bug you. <laughs> he only comes in when like he's. Um, would you something. be willing to at least? Will you text me. him my number, and then maybe it, maybe he'd be willing to set something up. Either way, I'll email him. But would you be willing to text him my number, and maybe he can call me back? Uh, five six one, five seven one, five six four three. Again, man, I, I know he gets a million and two calls. I'm I'm calling to literally show him something that would get rid of like one of his expenses. So, I, I appreciate it, man. What's your first name? Uh, Joe. Last name Wagner. Joe Wagner. What's your first name? Thank you. Man. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. All right. I'll relay the message. No problem. Bye. No, he won't be back okay, for a gotcha. couple of weeks. Um, I would assume he's the one that would handle this. Yeah, I was, I I was, was going to give you the rundown here. I think he's who I need to chat with. But this is Joe Wagner. I'm actually calling. I'm supposed to be coming out to Sebring. I'm going over a program where the business doesn't pay the food that's at the cards anymore, or the, the customer actually does. And I was seeing if someone down there would be willing to sit down for five, ten minutes and possibly get rid of the fees. Um, Dick's my main contact, so do you help with that stuff? or? Um, did you say it has to do with Correct. the credit card fees? So there's a program fees? where the business, so the Sebring Diner, wouldn't pay the fees, um, where it's actually passed. Yeah, I can, I can stop. I can stop you right there because we just got a new machine with a brand new program. So I can save you, you a guys, whole bunch of time. Are you guys time. passing the fee on? Um, I don't know. I know that Merchant Services handles all of it, and we just re-upped a new contract with a new machine. So. No worries. I appreciate it. Thank you. But thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone understands when someone's like, I know it's handled with merchant services. That's like saying, who's your insurance company? Oh, the insurance company. Or who's your doctor? Uh, the hospital. Okay. Merchant services is literally the name of the industry. So when someone's like, well, I know, you know, who, who, handle, who handles that? Oh, merchant services. That's like literally like there's all state, there's progressive, there's Geico. That's like, well, I already have insurance. Oh, who through? Uh, insurance is, is like the dumbest response ever. So, but, but just, just so you understand when someone's like, well, we do it through merchant service. That, that doesn't mean anything. That's not the company. And I might even say on their statement, merchant services, but it's not the company.
Good morning, Sebring Family Dentistry. Hey, good this morning, is Stephanie. Stephanie. Um, I was trying to reach Dr. Jenkins. I'm probably back with a with a client right now or a patient. Um, yes, yeah, she's with patients. Is um, she expecting no, your she's call? No, not. And honestly, it's probably an office manager who I who I would uh, be dealing with. Are you the office manager? Yeah, you need to speak with the office manager. Uh, One moment, he's speaking. What's the office manager's name? Her name is Liz, and Joe you said Wagner, Joe with, with whom? One moment. This Hi, is Liz. Liz. How can I help you? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm good. Sorry How for are interrupting you? you here. I know you're busy. Um, this is Joe Wagner. I'm I'm calling. Uh, be real direct. I'm I'm coming out to Sebring. I'm hoping to set up an appointment, and I'm going over a program that gets rid of the fees to accept the credit cards where. Um, that you guys don't pay them where it's actually passed on. Um, would you have five, 10 minutes to sit down with me on Thursday? I'd basically come out, go over some literature and uh, possibly get rid of the fees you guys pay to accept cards. Um, yes, but it will have to be between uh, one to uh, two. Thursday. Cause that's the lunchtime okay. and I have no patience. Like Thursday. So I've got a one third. Let me make sure this Thursday. That's Friday. Uh, between one and two, let's call it one o'clock. It's probably right when you're getting back from lunch. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. So I know you you get a lot of calls on this stuff. I'm not going to ask you for statements. I'm not looking for proposals. I'm gonna bring you some. I'm gonna bring some literature. Go over a book with you, and I will show you how how you could get rid of the yeah. fees if you choose to. And then just to clarify, you're at five eleven South Eucalyptus Street. Is there a suite number yeah. or anything? Okay. Uh, no, there's All not. Right, so I've got you Thursday at one o'clock. I appreciate your time, Liz. Thank you. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye. Bada boom. All right. So I don't know who was on yesterday when I was going over doctor offices, um, lawyers, veterinarians, dentists, anything like that. When you're, when you're dealing with those, you'll typically get the office manager. This is the one industry, anything medical industry, where your, your goal is most likely to set the appointment with the office manager, not the actual doctor. I shared yesterday, um, I've literally signed up doctor's offices where I never met the doctor. Like right here, I just set this appointment. We're going to go out on Thursday. I better mark it right here so I don't forget as I'm talking. So one o'clock Thursday, um, where I've sat with an office manager, explained it to the office manager. The office manager's job is stuff like this, right? The doctor does not deal with this stuff. The doctor is just like, all right, Liz, is it good? Is this something we should do? Yes, sign it, all right? So I've had office managers that I do the whole meeting with them. They just grab the paperwork, go back into some back room with the doctor, and come back with signatures where I never met the doctor. So that's the one industry where, if you will, you basically have to deal with the gatekeeper to get the deal. If you can sell the office manager, then you're good to go. So just pointing that out. All right, so we've got Liz here. What's the name? Sebring Family Dentist. Nice. Sebring Family Dentistry. 511 South. I see a bunch of people that just got on. Welcome to the call. I know some people are just getting up on the West Coast. Welcome. We are on day two setting appointments here. And we've got a really direct pitch going. Um, there's not really any notes to, to take here, right? Liz's office manager. I would just assume that because it's a dentist, but I'll put it in there so you can see it. So welcome if you're just getting on to the call. So about midway through today, we're on day two and it's, you know, it's been years since I've been on the phone. So I really am um, trying to find that magic pitch. Yesterday we were really, you know, working on this. Hey, I'm setting some appointments in Sebring, going over the cash discount. Have you heard of it? You know, it's kind of long and drawn out. And today I really want to just, let's just get direct. Let's get to the point. And anyone that sets an appointment knows what I'm talking about. So if you just got on, I'm kind of rolling with this uh, pitch here. It's been working really well. 
I implemented it. I don't know which call I implemented it, but since implementing it, we're getting a lot more color. And these people that are setting appointments, so here's three appointments between 245 and 275. So within 30 calls, three appointments, which is good. And earlier in the day, all we were getting is red. All right, so we implemented this pitch where we're just getting right to the point. It's working pretty well. I've got some emails to send out tonight. Somebody who was interested didn't have a time to set. So we're getting results. This pitch is working, uh, working well so far. I'm just going to use it the whole day. You don't know if your approach works based on 30 calls. You've got to do hundreds. But based on the result we've got since implementing it, it's working well. Um, I'm just going to keep, keep going here. Um, and I appreciate those of you that just got on to probably on the West Coast and get to the chat. I was thinking I shouldn't call lawyers and doctors, doctors' offices before yesterday's call. Of course, call them, man. So just a big note I hope everyone's taking. I'm call, you call everybody. I'm literally calling everybody, unless it's a Papa John's, uh, you know, uh, insurance offices. We can't do that. Travel agencies, we can't do that. A real estate office, I'm not going to do that. That's, that's just a waste of time. But of course, doctor's offices. So Jay, the secret to doctor's offices, lawyers, vets, is office managers. I will call in, like right here, I just called. I don't know if you're on that, Jay. So, hey, is Dr. Jenkins in or is she with a client right now? They're always with a client. I already know the answer. No, she's with a client. Uh, is there something I can help you with? Actually, yeah, the office manager is the one I typically deal with. Are you the office manager? No. That's Liz. Let me grab her for you. So then, boom, I'm over here writing Liz. Liz gets on the phone. Hey, and boom. And then that's who I pitch. That's who I need to actually sell on this program. So Jay, doctor's offices, lawyers, they're all great. Just don't try to get to the lawyer or the doctor. Get to their office manager. Pitch them like the owner. Don't change your pitch. Pitch it like the owner. And if you can get in with them, then, that's, then you're good. Just like any other door. All right, let's keep rolling. Let's get some more green. We're at three. We need more. Oh, we're at three on this new pitch that is really direct. Good afternoon, Tropical Sitting. Eric, what's going on, man? It's Joe Wagner again. Hey, bud. Hey, I spoke with you, man. I'm, I'm not going to hold you up very long here. Um, I, I don't know if you remember which one I was, but I was talking about this program where you don't have any contracts and, or fees to, to process the cards. You don't have the percentages and all that stuff. Do you have five, ten yeah. minutes, man? I, I know you just got out of a lease. You said it was like $3,000. That's a lease. It was yeah, they, they, yeah, they screwed me over, man. They had me in, they had me in two freaking contracts in the same shitty company, and I tried to deal with them, and they ended up wanting to take me to court and all this crap. So it cost me like three grand. I, I just honestly, I, I don't want to take cards anymore. I, I, I really, know, man, I just it, don't want to hassle it with totally it. Totally screws people like me that can do it the right way, man. I'm telling you, man. I do month to month. There's no, no, no contracts. You don't buy equipment. I provide it for free. I don't want to just tell you everything over the phone in person. I, I literally bring it like, look, here's the free terminal form. Here's no contract. Here's this and that. Cause I'm sure you were taking cards. It was just freaking expensive and you were trapped and it pissed you off. And now I'm the one that has a good deal that I can't even get in with you. Will you give me five, 10 minutes? So at least I literally have a pamphlet where I go over how this program works. If you're even interested, I show it to you. If you're just flat out, not man, it's cool. I'm not, I do not want to twist your arm, but if you were taking cards, it was just about fees and contracts. I can legitimately get rid of that if you'll let me show you. Will you will you give me five ten? Yeah, I mean if you want to come by, I'll take a look at it. I say I just I'm not keen on it at all right I, now. I mean this is this uh, is like the third time and, and I've been told all that and I was told all that before and then this is what I've been into three different times and I'm just it's like three strikes, I'm done, man. It's I, cost me way too much money and I don't even lose that much by not taking cards. I really I, don't. If People I can figure deliver it out, or so. at least even just show you what I'm talking about. I can be the end of that cycle, man. Are you there like 1130 on Thursday or is Friday better for you? Which day is better? And I will not waste your time. Uh, man, either one, it's, uh, um, either one I should be here. So. And you're, you're still at the 30 or 330, uh, highway 27 yep. North in your suite four. 
Yes, sir. All right, man. I'm going to put 1130 on Thursday. I have not come out to waste my time. I certainly won't waste yours. I've done this 11 years, man. I know what you've been through. I'm like legitimately. I'll see you at 1130 on Thursday. Okay. I won't waste your time. All right. Thank you, man. Sounds good. Good man, Eric. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, sir. Bam, baby. Get some. Give me some green all right at the end of the day. Eric. There you go. Tropical tinting and accessories. Tropical tinting and accessories at the end of the day. That's what's up, guys. I am excited. Feels good to be back on the phone here. This is like riding a bike. Same game, different ballpark with uh, with cash discount. It's just such a such a different program than it used to be. And it took us a day. No, he doesn't. Has been burnt three times. So if you if so on a show of hands, okay. So I'm off the I'm off the calls now. By a show of hands, who here has seen that cycle video? The cycle video where we talk about what people have been through. We're at the end of the day. Let's just give me your attention for five, 10 minutes, and then we're done for the day here. So by a raise of hands, who's seen the cycle video? That's what Eric is right there. He's been burned three times. But willing to sit down. I'll, I'll remember that. All right, so in the cycle video, we, we talk about um, exactly that right there. We talk about what these people have been through, why they don't trust us, this and that. Eric was a perfect example there. He's been burnt. He just got screwed. They charge him a shit ton of money to get out of a lease. Uh, so he just said, F it. Nobody's honest anymore. Are we going to go in there and we're going to say, hey, it is what I'm telling you it is. Here it is in black and white. Here's everything that you got burned on, crossed out, and in writing, right? That's all I'm going to do is go in and show him that. And maybe he signs up. Maybe he doesn't, right? So I use one of my favorite, favorite um, tools out of the four factors of impulse with Eric there, which was indifference. Like, look, I'm calling to set an appointment. I want to do business, but I'm also not going to be here and be desperate. Like, look, if you legitimately don't want to do this, the last thing I want to do is waste my time or yours and twist your arm. So, right? That's indifference. It's all good. If you really don't want to do this, I'll let you go. But give me five to 10 minutes because I can freaking show you. But that indifference gets them. You, you stop being desperate. So, all right. So we knocked down another appointment there. Let's tally up, all right? Let's go over the week here, and I want to start calling on, on some people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the thing that excites me about that is we've got the pitch okay this pitch is freaking good it's working it's fast it's to the point anybody that says yes to this pitch is a very 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 solid appointment there's no beating around the bush i'm coming to go over a program where you don't pay the fees to accept credit cards your customers do would you be willing to sit down with me go over some stuff and possibly get rid of the fees to accept cards folks you can't get more cut and dry than that this pitch is money right here. You got to do it with the right tone of voice and everything. Um, what else do I want to go over here? Sam said, dude, Google voice. It's free. You guys don't even have to pay for a phone service and you can okay. have a dialer like this where you just go to your leads, control C copy, come over here, paste, boom, dial. Obviously it won't look like mine, but if you've been paying attention, we are dialing. We're making a lot of calls, right? So today, how many calls did we make today? Today, 210 calls, and I was an hour and a half short handling some other business, okay? You can't do that on a cell phone. It's gonna be very difficult to do that on a cell phone. You can pretty much make, impossible. what's that, Jay? That's, yeah, pretty much impossible. It's very, very hard to do. I did it with an hour and a half less time, and that's also why I don't leave voicemails, okay? You can go through and make a lot of phone calls. We now have the money script. As long as you're saying it with the right tone of voice, energy, enthusiasm, and talking to these people like you know them, not like a stranger, you're going to get results. Okay, so we're at what we're at right now. Look at all this red. Who freaking cares, man? 
Who cares about all the reds? Who cares about any of them except the greens? Now, these purples, these are people that wanted information. And this is what I'm going to send to the purple. All right, good evening. Today, we spoke briefly about our program, eliminate your fees, yada, yada, yada. I'll be in Sebring on Thursday, Friday. I'd love to come in person to discuss after you watch these videos. Please let me know. Now, folks, if you email these out, I'm not actually expecting crap from these. This is why it's all about getting them on green now. Green is all that matters. Don't be excited about it. Someone said to call back next Thursday. Who cares? I'm going to be there this week. So greens are what matter, but if you're sending out enough purple and you follow up properly, some of those purples will turn into greens. All right, so this is what I'm going to send. I'm just showing you my, exactly what I'm doing here. So out of today, let's go back to 200. So we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven emails. I'm going to write that because it's going to go out in an email. Seven emails going out. And I think yesterday we had six. So tomorrow I'm going to call these purples saying, hey, I sent you the info you requested. Not sure if you checked it out, but I've got two spots left on Thursday and I want to get you into one of them. This leads list of five that started at 500 is going to have been worked very thoroughly. I'm going to have found people that weren't available this week. And this doesn't even count, folks. This doesn't even count people like this that said, yes, he's interested. I flat out won't be in town. If you can come next week, I'd love to sit down with you. Okay, now I'm not going to be doing this every week. This isn't my gig. This is what I, what I do. I'm doing this to show you it works and how to do it. So if you were working the same territory for three weeks, four weeks, or two months, or three months, if you're willing to go to a city that big, these ones are going to pop up, and now you're going to have free appointments from people that already said, yes, I would love to do that. I'd love to sit down, but I'm out of town. I'm going to Panama City. I'll be back next week. I, can you put me on your schedule? Right? I would come in Monday if I was going to go out there again next week. This is the first color I'm calling to make sure you get to my schedule. So you get the idea here. A lot of these whites are going to be filled in after tomorrow. And by the end of this week, we will have worked this list very, very, very effectively. Our weekly schedule, the goal is 10 a day. You should, the goal is to have 30, but folks, if you go get 20, Tomorrow night, I'm going to teach you how to walk in and what we're going to do when we walk in, if you've been here this week and if you're actually setting appointments. If you're just plugging in now and you're not working and you're not setting appointments, why would I give you the information on what to go run appointments with? Okay, I only work with people that are willing to meet me halfway. So for those of you that have been around this week, I appreciate it. Keep setting appointments. If you need leads, email me or email your sales director. I will get you a handful of leads so that you can start working on setting appointments this Friday. And I thank all of you that have been sticking around, watching. I hope that you're learning a lot. All right, guys. Thank you, everybody, for plugging in. Thanks for jumping in here at the end of the day. I hope you're seeing the value in this model. If you're willing to work it, you're going to build a book of business and get deals. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for plugging in.